go, right? All right. Let's get it in, y'all. Iron Teeth. Let's see what we got. I always use one district no matter the size. Dealing uh, dealing with different zones. Dude, dealing with uh, different zones suck, man. I, I feel that. I'm not a fan. This is going to be Iron Mamba. All right. Let's check out the map. Okay, so you spawn right here. Oh, wow. There is already a bad water reroute that I see already. Oh, dude, you're on top of a mountain. Oh, there is another spawn right here. Dude, this map. Dude, there's so much bad water. Dude, that's that's a lot of speed, I would imagine. Okay. So we're right here. Side of the bad water, side of the clean water. Dude, what the heck is this? That's it? Oh, wow. Okay, so this is going to be interesting because we would actually have to deal with the bad water season here. Um, I think I already see the solution. I think what they would want us to do is wall this off and open up a wall to the side so they could reroute the bad water and have that spill together. Because I think that's what will happen. We, we blow this side up and then we... Uh, we do the floodgates and spill that off to the side. Same thing here, actually. Wall this part up, and then blow this off this way. Spills off, so it's here, here, it goes down here. And that elites here, too, and that spills into here and feeds out. Dude, yeah. That already looks like what we would want to do. Okay. Oh, there's a natural, the natural stairs. That's good, actually. And then we're probably going to want our housing up here. Just because of how fertile the land is. Stairs, stairs. That's good. Nothing up here, though. No natural stairs or slopes on this side. Oh, there's a natural uh, barrier right there. Oh, do they want me to just wall it up here and reroute the water this way and go into there? Because that way I would just need one floodgate set. Is this a water spawn or is this just a deep water? I actually can't tell. I don't see rocks, so I'm thinking that's just deep water. Okay, scraps are on that side. The mine's on that side. All right, let's get it started. Let's get it started. Press the priority button to check. Ah, you see through the water like that. Interesting. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right, let's get it started. First things first, we're going to need food. Let's get the gather flag. Right? And then second thing we're going to need is the wood flag. So we are going to do wood. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to do that. So these are arbitrary values that we're just going to pick. So this is going to prioritize the berries. And then we got to cut trees. Cut all these trees because we can and then there's trees here while we want them to grow we probably want to uh survive so we want to let these grow i guess it should be fun. we can't tap them yet so it should be okay and then i do want some inventors all right we're gonna get housing first we have 12 so we gotta get some housing oh snap Oh, snap. The iron teeth preferred and only way to reproduce. Nutrients are brought by haulers, the unemployed, and workers after work. 
Wow, okay, so this is how we increase pop. Are these permanent? Advanced breeding. Oh, this is adults. These are probably giving you babies. Okay, and they have barracks. Dude, you actually have to manage this. Oh, you can put 10 people in this? Oh, it's two stories. Yo, what in the world? Wait, what? <laughs> That's kind of wild. Okay, we'll do that. All right, let's get it started. Uh, we'll likely want another Lumberjack flag here. So that's going to be that. We'll build we'll have the priority, chop the trees. Uh, we want district managing. Let's get a hauling post. This is... Uh... Oh, and I probably want to grow crops, right? ASAP. Oh, I don't have farmer's house. Oh, no, I do. Uh... I probably want to grow stuff ASAP. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, just to have this a little bit more in line with what we want. Uh, we should try to use as much space down here for food as possible. So we will want the farmhouse then. We'll have this here, and then we want to plant carrots. What? Oh, this is different. Oh, snap. The foods are different. Wait, hold up. This is... Kohlrabi. Okay. Cassava. Soybean. Canola. Corn. And eggplant. Okay. Alright, we're gonna cheat. Nutrition. So they can't eat this. For, uh... Actual nutrition. Okay. So I guess we grow that. Yeah, we have to we have to learn this, dude. Oh man. Fermented cassava, fermented soybeans, fermented mushrooms, corn rations, mangrove fruits. That's got to be a tree, right? Mangrove. That's actually food. Okay. Oak trees, blueberries, birch wood, pine wood. The trees are the same. You get the mangrove, though, instead of the maple tree. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're gonna be eating, uh... I don't even know what this is. Kohlrabi? Uh, we'll go like this. I want this to be a path. And then this will be open space. And then... We're going to grow all these crops. Uh, what probably makes a lot of sense then is doing something like that. And then we put a path here. I think that makes sense. And then we potentially have a chance to chop these trees. So let's get a lumberjack flag here. And then we're going to do a tree chop. Uh, we're going to do this. And then we're going to cancel a couple of spots. Right? So this keeps adults alive. And then that keeps the trees grown. Kind of want to spread it around. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's turnip! What? Is that real? Holy shit, that's turnips? Hey, man. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. You just hate to see it. What language is that? Uh, Cancel trees, not to cut like checkers. Hey, man. That's effectively what you want. 
Because the, the rule is you want these spaces around the tree to be uh, chopped so that you have maximum seedlings. Oh, we need water. That's right. We need water. Uh, that's going to go here. Oh, and then I need storage. All right. So water tank. We're just going to put that in front of the pump. That makes sense. Uh, we're going to need small log piles. That should go right there. And then food. We'll start getting some warehousing. We'll put it on that side. It sounds German. Very close to how we say it in my country. Oh, I wonder if it was inspired by that. Yo, man, I see you over there, Abe. Thank you for the knowledge. I honestly didn't know. <laughs> didn't know what that was, man. I'm just like, okay. I see you guys over there. It seems legit. Oh, do we have pine resin on this? You can see it on the tree. Problem is that we don't have tree tappers yet, so I can't use it. Wait, pine resin is... Tapper Shack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't use it, can't use it. Prioritize water pump. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. We'll put this second. You have to look it up. Oh, I see you. Ace Miller Boy Hero, welcome in. Time for some coffee pour ASMR. Sometimes, man, it's about the coffee. Yeah. Just a little bit more coffee, y'all. Y'all know how it is. Now I want to pee. Guys, why is it that when we hear waterfall or watch water come out of the faucet, it makes us want to pee? Why is that a thing? That has got to be a phenomenon, man. That has got to be a phenomenon. This is going to be for blueberries. Like, why is that a thing? Why do it be like it is when it do? We got a house, but we did not get water. Aw, oh, snap. What's more fun was when a friend of yours is easy to trigger. You make fake water flow noise. Oh, man. That's that's messed up, man. That's messed up. Them days when you can't pee, so you run the tap. Yeah, dude. I've seen that on TV, dude. What do you guys call that? There used to be a guy on TV that would sit in the bathrooms. And he would work in the bathrooms. And it's not the janitor. You guys know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about? In, in uh, old school television, they used to have like a random guy in the bathroom. And I think he would hand you like towels to wipe your hands after you're done. Like washing your hands. I forget what he does. But it's like they, they would randomly have a person in there like working. And they would be just in the bathroom all day and they were just to like, I guess, help you out with that stuff. So, like, you know, instead of pulling the paper towels. Yeah, 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 that attendant fella. I, I haven't seen that in real life. So I've never actually had a chance to go, hey, man, what do you call your job, you know? Like, I've only seen it on TV. Like, it's got to be fake. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this doesn't happen in real life. I just, I just don't know what that is, man. Like, was that something only in the 80s and 90s? Because, like, they don't exist anymore. We have them in some of the clubs. Ah. Yeah, what, what is that, man? That's what I'm, like, just not sure of. It's not fake. It's see, I've seen it a lot of times. But no idea what the job's called. I used to go to a club with one in the toilets. Wait, what? <laughs> Do 
Does he fold your toilet paper for you? Hey, man, you got a wipe? I got you. Wrap it up. He's like, here, man, you're good. And you're like, no, it's a little thin, man. Let me get an extra layer. We got to do one more go around. All right, all right, all right, we good. You got wet wipes? Nah. Oh, man, you guys are slacking over here. Got to put the aftershave on. Dude, I've never, dude. I've been so curious about that. It's one of those things that it's like, man, I, I really want to know the name. <laughs> It's one of those things, man. It's like, I've never seen it before. I feel like I should know what it is, but it's like, I don't. I've only seen them at the toilet nightclubs. They try to sell aftershave to you. Oh, they're salespeople? Wait, hold up. They're in sales? Is that how it is? They're just in sales? Just a sales gig? Forrester's 60 signs, okay. No, he sits by the sink, gives you towel to dry. Oh, yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. All right, we pumping, boys. We got the water. The well-being is going to be positive. Normally, they have aftershave and stuff. They spray you uh, and you tip them. Interesting, interesting. So I would imagine that somehow they're not a job anymore. The mixing of water and bad water looks matters are rising. Yo, man, this is not a good sign, though. I will say that. Yo, what's this random pocket? This is the weirdest random pocket, man. Build another pop. No, we're good. We're good. I wouldn't mind building another pump though. I just don't have people. <laughs> so I'm thinking the next thing I'm gonna build is gotta be the uh, breeding pod, right? I don't have wood for this though. Cause I don't have enough workers in general. I have one job that's not being worked at. And then I need more science. I get about 10 science a day. Oh, man, we need more inventors. All right, we're just going to build one. I don't know how this is going to work. All right, it's breeding pot time. So, the breeding pot, is this one-time use? We give it water and berries, and then we get one baby, and we have to build a new one? No. So it's always breeding? So there's an on and off button, I imagine. It's constantly reproducing. Okay. Breeding halt it, waiting for nutrients. That's fine. Yeah, we hit the pause button. Okay. Yo, man, we don't have enough water, though. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't this mean I need berries? Holy shit, I just realized that. I actually need berries for this playthrough. <laughs> I can't just rely on my carrots or the turnips in our case. Alright, yeah. They're gonna wait for the uh, resources, I guess. Is there berries anywhere else? Up top. Yeah, we can't reach that. Nothing on this side. Alright, so we have to go straight to the forester then. Uh, we're almost done over here. There's a good chance I'll probably just want to bop this. So then we have a free guy now. Uh, this guy's going to go into the inventor. We need science. That's what we need right now. Yeah, production chains are somewhat different between factions. That's interesting. Honestly, that's interesting. <gasps> Finally positive. Everyone got water, boys. Guys, stay hydrated. Even the beavers are uh, becoming dehydrated nowadays. It's not what we call a good time. Is there like an estimated amount of time for this? I'm curious to see if I should try to get more breeding tanks. I probably do. Oh, it's not within range. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. Let's just, I mean, it's free to build the lumberjack flag. So we'll just chop the rest of these trees and then we'll be out of here. The lower space is not bad because we try to go crops there. 
I think they're going to want me to go across here, though. Uh, how long is this? One, two, three, four, five. Can I do suspension bridge? Oh, it's planks, though. Yeah, we can't afford that. Alright, so yeah, Forester's got to be the force, uh, first thing we got to go for. Alright, we have one free guy. It's probably going to be for the water pump. Shouldn't be bad. We don't need a tank yet. Just because, uh, well, I mean, we don't have water in storage in general. Oh, but we're going to get turnips, though. Can you set it so that the beavers can't eat certain foods? Is that possible in this game? Nice. And then there's no more? Oh, he's hauling. You can't. Oh, I want them to not eat my berries. That's what I'm hoping for right now. But they prefer to eat everything but bears. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice. Four points, nice. Nothing doing in range. Your box. And that means we finally have the first step. The Forester. Oh, wait. The Forester. Alright, I could go here. But realistically, I probably want to be here. Alright, so I would want to do that. I probably want to chop this tree. Alright, and then I gotta bop the lumberjack flag. So the forester path is likely gonna be like this. And then... We'll probably put the two flags like that. And then we gotta chop this tree. Got the five, let's go. All right, we're getting wood now. Uh, I might also want to bop one of the inventors, but we still want sides. So how fast is this? Oh, this is taking a while. All right, I'll probably want a second one to be honest. Once you get that turnips, they're going to eat that. It's going to be nice. Okay. Looks like we eat it raw. And you don't actually have to cook it. That means the next thing we should probably want to do is corn. Looks like corn and egg. Wait, actually rations. Because ferment, it sounds like it was cooked. Oh, you just go with the fermenter. Okay, we'll just go with the fermenter then. This needs power. Okay, so we'll eat the turnips until we get power. That's fine. Can we chop this, though, real fast? Nice. We do that. We do this. We do that. People are going to be able to work there. Nice. This. Oh, this required planks. Ah. And the planks require power. Ah, snap. Compact wheel. Oh, this is small. Wow. That's impressive. Large water wheel. That's probably a proper one. Large power wheel. Oh, dude. This is... This is power? Oh, shit. This is power. Uh... Okay. Okay. Oh, I need planks. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just have to use this space right here. Uh, this is going to be temporary. This is going to be temporary. And then we have science. Let's pause one of them. Wasn't this missing a, a worker? No, I needed a plank for that. 
four planks, one uh, one log. Nothing more permanent than a temporary solution. You 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 might be right. You might be right, man. There's so many times, dude. I have a bandaid on, and I go take a shower, and I forgot I have a bandaid on. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, it's a bandaid that was supposed to only be on for like a little while. That's like I still forgot, man. That shit's been a, like a week. And sometimes, man, I'll shower and I'll scrub the part where the band-aid's on. I'm just like, I don't really feel anything there because of the band-aid. But it's like, yeah, I'm good. The band-aids, man, they're the worst. You know what I actually hate the worst? Wet band-aids. When you get out the shower, man, you have to like rip that off and reapply it. It's gotta be the worst. Oh, and the berries are gone. Aw, snap. Uh, we could actually grow berries here with the Forester. That's actually kind of impressive. And we're waiting for planks. All right, so we need planks here. We got the vats in progress. Dude, a hundred wood? Dude, what is this? A hundred wood? Wait, can I even get that much wood? Wait, hold up. Can I even get that much wood? Dude, what the heck is this? Do I actually have to go here and chop this? I mean, it is oak, so this is like the most lucrative. Dude, I can't though. I need, I need the plank. Aw, oh, dude. Oh man, we bought a house half a year ago and temporarily covered the windows in the bedroom with cardboard instead of putting up the blackout curtains in. Guess where the cardboard is now? It's uh being used as sound dampening and you have the cardboard there and the uh blackout curtains oh yeah it's for sound dampening seems legit extra layer of insulation all right man whatever works yo man real talk i don't have wood dude no blackout curtains what a travesty man what a travesty So I'm gonna be real, dude. We don't have trees. And we can't cross. <laughs> dude, what the heck? How's it going, man? What's going on, Capri Wins? We're having some wood issues with the beavers. Classic problems. Classic problems. How you doing, though, Capri? How's the Fridays, man? Hopefully you're doing well. Dude, yeah, we have not enough. We're not even close. Maybe I shouldn't have done the farmhouse. That was 20 wood. I did get the food ready, though. Out of wood, boys. Out of wood. I can't build stairs. I can't build platforms. Did we already lose? I would get nine wood back. I'm probably gonna sacrifice this inventor, to be honest. Who would have known it, yo man? They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. Dude, 59. All right, so. Looking at this. I have three trees. One, two, and three. That's six wood. Oh, dude, I am not even close. How the hell am I even actually supposed to get enough wood? I am actually not even close. <laughs> 
compact water is only 25. I guess that might have been the better solution. Damn, yeah. I guess I do have to do this. One tree goes two. It depends on the type of tree. It depends on the type of tree. Alright, we're not gonna get it, so we will do the other strat. <sighs> that means we lose this too. Alright, it's fine. Uh, power, water wheel. We have to do it here or else we don't reach. And then we gotta do this after. Uh. Look at how much power you need. Oh, I mean, it still turns on. doesn't really matter. As long as it's running, it's all I care about. You don't need max power to actually run it. Do these beavers have small hands? They move two pieces of wood at a time. They build diagonal. Okay, that's good. Wait, is that specific? Is that specific to these guys? Can the folk tales do that too? Oh, they're going to have to haul this. Otherwise, it's not considered resources, right? Oh, dude, that's going to be fun. Alright, we're going to do it like that. That way we have a path there already. Oh, man. The classic. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty. Nice. All right, man. We need this. All right, now we need the planks for the forester, so I can start growing pine trees. It is pine is gonna be the tree choice. All right, it's gonna be like that. We're gonna cancel this. And then this entire area is going to be pines. We're going to leave this as space. I might actually just grow more turnips there. If that makes the most sense. Uh, we might also want to stop that. To do a potential path coming down. Probably not. We'll just leave it like that though. Alright, so that's going to be our pine tree area around the forester. We're going to chop trees around that. Alright. One plank. And we're good. Oh, no workers in the district. Uh, we're going to bop an inventor. Please plant the trees. <laughs> Please plant the trees. You want to prioritize the pine. And then we're going to grow uh, berries on the bottom side. So this is within range to here. So we're going to do berry like that. Just because I need berries. I guess we'll also grow uh, more kohlrabi right here. And then we'll leave that blank. Uh, seen more hype for this game lately. Was there a big update or something? Yes! Uh, they added a new mechanic that's actually very interesting. For impact of the game, I would say the new mechanic they added in is probably the most impactful thing they've added in general. This is a tread in the right direction. Why not half a farm of corn? Uh, I don't know if I need something to actually grow the corn. 
And I also don't know if this is going to survive a drought. Because it says rations. I don't know if that means I have to process it with like a mill or something. So I'm not sure. Oil press. Hydroponic garden. This is probably... Oh, interesting. Dude, look at that clock. 288 hours. Jesus Christ. Food factory. Yeah, yeah, those are the rations right there, right? Corn plus wood equals corn rations. Eggplant plus water. I, mean, I think that's flour. Plus wood equals eggplant rations. I didn't want to grow anything advanced because I didn't know if I needed an extra step to actually eat the food. Kind of like wheat. Wheat makes bread, but you need the mill in order to make flour and then a bakery to make the bread. I was assuming it's going to be a similar mechanic for the advanced foods. What did they add? They added a new mechanic called bad water. Bad water is effectively toxic water. You have normally a regular water source that's clean water that your beavers would drink, use for farming, uh, fertilizes the ground. Bad water gives you bad water cracks. These cracks effectively are droughts because these cracks in the water right here or in the soil is effectively uh, toxic to the plants. So if the bad water gets close to your plants, they die. Uh, they don't actually fertilize as much as the clean water does. That's another thing. So you can see that while it's bad water, none of this is fertile. As we get down here, the bad water mixes in with the clean water, and you can see that it's not as effective as just clean water by itself. So this bad water is toxic. If your beavers get inside of it, they get poisoned, and you have to feed them an antidote. Second thing is, is that uh, because it's poisonous, your beavers can't touch it. You're going to have to you know, do something to control the flow. And then that's part of the new mechanics. So before you would have regular water, and then you'll have drought seasons. They added it a new bad water season as well. So you have more layers to it. And effectively, that adds a good amount of dimension into the game, I would say. Because it's, it's making it so that you have to prepare for more things. The seasonals has a little bit of variety now. So it's going in the right direction. I like the bad water mechanic. I think it was a good idea whoever came up with it. But yeah, that's just me. This is me. I've been a fan. Wonder if you should pick it up, hey man? Ask the questions and you'll find out for yourself. Let me know what you're on the fence about and we could explain it. Alright, so now that we have planks, uh, we might want to chop the wood up top. So I want this. Oh, I gotta unlock stairs with science. Yeah, we can do that. All right, now that we have planks, we try to get the wood up here. Get all the dead trees. I'm busy protecting liberty most of the time though. What game is that? Protecting liberty? Well, who are you, Captain America? Protecting liberty? Is that you, Cam? Oh, you're playing Helldivers. Ah, oh, I see. I see, I see. Yo, man. Sometimes, you know, you might be in the mood for something a little bit more peaceful. Well, this might be up that alley. Just saying, man. Oh. Are we eating the food fast enough? Ah, uh, I don't have food warehousing yet. Uh, all right, the warehouse medium here is only uh, only that, so that's not too bad. All right, we could do this. This is gonna be for the kohlrabi. Need the turn storage. Uh, water is pretty good for now as well. Let's get another water storage in. It's going to be a, more, uh, a lot more farming to be done. This guy needs a little bit of help, though. He needs to plant more trees, and then he needs to put the blueberries here for this guy. Man. I need to find a balancing point with the population additions. Because I want more people. 
We're just not doing this at the fast enough rate. So we're going to add one more. These guys aren't doing anything right now. All right, we'll pause these guys. Just because there's no one working that yet. Uh, this is going to be water. All right, now they're working. Don't know what they're actually working at. But it looks like we need a workers. <laughs> Such a tough time. I would say the beginning might be the hardest part of this game, man. It's kind of interesting to think about that like that. But it feels that way. The beginning of this game is potentially the hardest part. Because you just got to get things done. You can't think about, like, other things. Like, uh, oh yeah, efficiency, try to do X, Y, Z. I want to have a pretty layout. Can't do that in the beginning, sadly. Doesn't work as well. Oh, you got some new babies. The drought has started. Okay. We can't really prepare for the drought. We just kind of have to take it like a... Take the L. All right. And we have 2.8 days without water. Feels bad. We did get the storage up, though. Damn. Food and water, once they are set up, things usually go easier. I mean, that's true. We need to get a dam. We got to get that dam right here. That's got to be the first dam. Oh, I could actually set this up already. I just don't have enough wood. And then we would probably want to cross right here. And then that could mix in to the bad water. Yeah, we might want to do that. Just dam this up once we have the wood for it. So getting wood means setting this up and having the trees get cut. We have food storage, so once we're good here, we'll be fine. All oh, the plants are dying, though. Oh, they're not going to make it. Yep, we really need that damn line. And then we'll chop the trees over here. Man, aren't these weird? The, the, the population management is kind of interesting. Kind of interesting, man, with the breeding pod. Alright, so we have one guy that needs to help. Alright, we're going to stop the science generation. Just so that we can have other workers. We could argue the water pumps as well, I guess. Alright, we'll keep two inventors on. What are some beginner tips? Uh, you want to get a forester ASAP. After that... You want to somewhat stabilize and then manage your water. That's probably the best beginner tips. <laughs> your forester is how you get wood and wood is your lifeblood because this is the only way to plant trees. Without wood, you can't do anything in the game. So you need to get a source of wood first. And in order to get this, you need to get stage one refinement. So lumber mill. Which also means you need to get power. So you're whatever stage one power sources. Right? And then once you get planks and you have a way to plant trees, and this requires planks to be built, um, this is going to be your first thing that you have to do. Thing is, is that getting this is actually not that difficult. It's like 10 minutes. And you have to do it every time. So I wouldn't really consider that like a stage of the game, but it technically is. Just due to how important it is. Once you have that, though, um, you kind of make a decision. What are the windmills? Windmills in the game are a variety of power source, except that they're specifically for the folktales. I'm playing Iron Teeth, which is a different uh, group. I'm playing Iron Teeth. So this is a, you know, the second race you have to unlock. Once you do that, um, you play with Iron Teeth. The one you're talking about is specifically for the folktales, though, but they're a power generator. Uh, it's a little bit more advanced, though. Is that like building toilets and beds for dupes? No. Imagine if building toilets, beds, and farms were just one building in the game. That's exactly what the Forester is. It's everything combined. It's that important. 
<laughs> it's that important. What are the race differences? Literally almost everything. They're both beavers, but you get a different variety of crops that you could plant. There was a little bit of tree variety. Uh, internal mechanics are different, like how you would reproduce. The original beaver tribe is kind of like your normal tribe. You, you have housing space, they'll fill it up. So that means if you build more houses, they're just going to have kids, and then they're just going to populate the village. Uh, they will not overproduce, so that's a good thing. And then this one is different. They're more scientific. So we're growing children in these little vats. So yeah, little baby beavers are being grown right now. They don't have kids by normal means. These guys are scientists. So this is a slower pro uh, process, but we, we get to control it. They're clones? Uh, no. It's hard to describe how it's made because all we do is feed it water and berries and then we get a beaver. I wouldn't call it cloning. There's no DNA involved. But for the most part, yeah, they're different. They're like fundamentally different with a baseline set of uh, game mechanics. So like you still need housing, although the housing is different. Food refinement is slightly different, although it's the same process. Bring food to a building, the building processes it and then you get, you know, X, X amount of food. The, it's the same thing, but the buildings are different and the crops are different between the two races. Outside of that, I would imagine like the well-being. Oh, this is about the same. Some of it is different, like the wind tunnel. But yeah, the game plays the same. It's just that how you would satisfy them is different. Might be the way to describe it. They're ends, kind of, I don't know. It's, it's hard to really argue what they are. But yeah, it's, uh, they're different. <laughs> That's probably the best way to say it. They're different. All right, we need water, man. These guys need to hurry up. All right, making the planks. Oh, I don't have plank storage, so we can't utilize it right now. Okay, that means my wood is fine. And it is damn time. All right, we're going to dam this up so that we can start holding water for the droughts. And then we're going to want to cross to the side to chop the trees. I think we'll end up putting a forester here to do the berries here and then replant these trees as well. Uh, how do you dam bad water if your beavers can't touch it? We're not damming bad water. We are damming clean water. So the bad water is right here, the red. It spills to a lower pool. Uh, same thing with the clean water. It spills to a lower pool. So we're actually sealing off that clean pool. We're not actually going into the bad water. If that makes sense. And we're also doing it from land. So I'm going to stand here and build this dam. And then I'm going to stand on top of the dam to build the second dam. And then I'm going to stand on top of that to build the third dam. How do you do that? Oh, you build from the high ground. <laughs> So you have buildings in this game, like platforms. I can't show it to you because I don't have the sides to unlock it. But th you have tools. You have tools. There's a lot of things that we need science for to unlock stuff. And you kind of have to pick and choose what you want to spend the science on. While the platform would be what I want to show you with. Because you could literally just build platforms and stand on top of the water. And then that way you could stand on top of the uh, area and start building out the area so that you don't technically touch it, you're on top of it, right? But uh, yeah, I can't show that to you. But you have the tools, you have the tools. All right, so that's 16, this is 20 beavers. And then we need the wood. All right, nothing to do. Uh, let's demo this. Because all the trees are done, right? Alright, that's two people. And y'all go back to here. Do you get floods? Uh, that's determined by the map. That is something the devs, I think, are experimenting with. It's not technically something set in stone that's regularly occurring. 
Right now, though, I know that there is one map that I think has that mechanic. Instead of having bad water and having no water, you get too much, which kind of stops you from doing anything at the same time at the same thing. It's kind of weird, though. They're both extremes, right? No water and too much water. But yeah, that specific map at the moment. All right, we're at a trees. So we actually can't finish the dam until these trees grow. Okay, that sucks. Speaking from experience, you could just mess up and just flood your own colony. Self-induced flooding is a thing, y'all. It really is. Oh, we're getting no power now because of my dam layout. I need to stick these two in order to get power feels bad. Hey man, they don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes, you just hate to see it. Alright boys, we need 17 pieces of wood. Uh, I should be okay to just cut all the trees here now, right? Because we have a forester, so replanting is fine. The water in this game could also slosh, so raising lowering floodgates could cause temporary flooding. Yeah, it's temporary though. It's not always going to happen. It's temporary. A wise man once said, Temporary solutions always last forever. So although it's temporary, man, we're going to believe in it. We're going to believe that the game has floods and it's all part of the plan. Dude, I get no power from this. It's because of the waters redirecting far left. Once we build this, though, it should even out. Power? Where's my power? Dude, where's my power? This is supposed to even out. The water is not evening out. Aw, oh, come on, dude. It's only using the left side two dams. So what's happening is um, we're not getting any power. Dude, that's jank, man. What is this? What the heck is this? Yeah, no flow means no power. But there should be a flow. My flow got demolished the moment I actually tried to build this tile. That's weird. I think it's going to fix itself on the next drought. What's going on, Oni? I see you over there. How are you? Welcome in. Can you build tiles to divert water? We can. I just can't afford it. Uh, no. The ability to control the, da uh, the dam is a different building. That's called a floodgate. Adjustable height. So I can't do this. Try to demolish first one. No. Uh, I'm scared I won't be able to build it. Because the rubble gets into the water. I mean, I guess we could try. Please let me breach. Nice. Okay, it went up. So I should be able to reach this. So the beavers actually have to bring this back to storage before we could actually use it for the building. This is a AI issue. Otherwise, we can't use the wood here for anything. It's kind of just useless. You see this now, though, right? The water is actually flowing. But then we're still not getting power here anymore. Which is really weird. So we get nothing so far. There was some... I don't know why that we got some and not a lot. Because we're looking at it, yo man. If a tree falls in the forest, man, does it make a sound? I have so many questions. Quantum computing at its finest. Alright, so the water is flowing back over all four dams now. 
but the compact water wheel is unaffected. It kind of has resistance. If the flow isn't strong enough, it gets no rotation and it flows around the wheel. That's jank. That's jank. That's mad jank. That shouldn't be like that, man. All right, whatever. So we're going to bop these two. And what we're going to do is we're going to need this. Uh, I'm going to do that, this. I don't know if this is a good pat setup. And then we will have these two, these two. I will do the second forester here. I want to be able to force this entire area and then the right side as well. That's good. And then we'll move some lumberjack flags here. And then we're going to do these streets. Might fix after the drought. No, I don't want to use the water wheel. I want to use the hand crank large power wheel. Uh, a little bit more inland. Because putting that there means I lose farming space and that's not good. <laughs> I want the farming space. But with levees or multiple wheels, you get some power somewhere. Yeah, I probably could. Probably good. Oh. Uh, oh, there's nothing to cut in the area. Okay. So cut trees. Everything here. And then we're going to grow those trees. Uh, once we get the planks, we'll use it. Oh, we can't. I don't have plank storage. Uh, we're going to change this to plank storage. Because we have wood storage. Oh, they can't move it out. Because there's no wood storage. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll put it back to wood. We'll have to make a plank storage then. Uh, I mean, it has to be done. We'll put it there. Without plank storage, we can't use the planks. Yeah, we demolished the planks building. But that's fundamentally just game design. I don't like that design. I think it's bad. I'm not a fan of it. There we go. All right, these guys are idle because there's no trees that are grown yet. Pause and pause. Y'all can work elsewhere, like the science facility. We still need some babies, man. Still need some babies. Building flax workers. Okay, that's gonna be this guy. How do they do science? They roll the dice. And then they get a science point if that dice roll is above a six. If it's below a six, they get no science. Life is a game of dice, man. Just like that. By pacing in a circle in the science building. They're actually just, uh enjoying the breeze to be honest professional dnd players yeah man i saw this i saw this thing the other day mark the forester to plant oaks oh yeah, yeah, yeah uh two two yeah we're gonna do oaks here all right so it's here and here and here Looks good. Oh, and then I need berries in the back. All right. And then I wanted this path down the stairs. And then this is potentially more water that we might need. All right, I'll be okay with that. 
I saw this thing the other day. This guy was getting discharged at the hospital. And he had to fill out the form where the guy picking him up, like, who's the relationship to him. And he put his name. This is my dungeon master. We have we have a gig to attend to. <laughs> that was the funniest shit, man. I was like, wait, what the f You got picked up at the hospital by your dungeon master? And you guys have, like, a... Have a session to kind of show up at? God damn, that's dedication. That's actual dedication, man. I saw that. This guy had to get his dungeon master pick him up after work, dude. That's impressive. All right, we have two guys not working. All right, should be good. All right, what do we want to do next? We're gonna get wood from here. That must be a good friend, nah, man. That must be a very, uh, what do you call that? A very anal person. What? You can't show up. Why can't you show up? I'll just pick you up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not about to ruin this for me. Kind of a kind of a vibe. You're not about to ruin this, man. I'm gonna DM today. You're gonna be there. I'll pick you up, man. It's fine. That's how I expect that to go for some reason. <laughs> Dude, I would imagine the first thing that happens if I was DM, I would send his ass back to the hospital. Oh, uh, the dark shadow lurking behind you turns out to be a professional assassin for the Assassin's Guild. You end up getting killed and are uh, at death's door. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my god, he gets released and he's already needs to be back. I would totally spin that off, man, as part of the, uh, part of the current quest line. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. All right, so we're here. We have a dam. This is a level one setup. Um, I wish I could zoom out a little bit more. You get, you get, you kill the town guard. Nah, man, you attempt to pickpocket. Only to fe uh, find out that you try to pickpocket the hero. And he was not having it. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be big meme. You try to rob the hero? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> oh, man. Thank dog. I don't play D&D &D with you. Yo, man, you gotta thank Mamba. What do you mean? He was an S-level adventurer. Yeah, man. He was actually Izakai, so he was stronger than what his stats say. <laughs> yeah, that's not his real stats, man. He's from a different planet. I could already see that happening, though. Dude, yeah, this guy, man, he was he's from somewhere else. All right, all right. So, Iron Teeth, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? So, we have a level one setup with dam setup to try to survive the droughts. Realistically, though, realistically, we need to try to progress to an area. And it sounds like I should try to move uphill to the water. Right? That's where the water is. Now, second thing is, is that we're going to get droughts before a bad water season. So we would have to tackle that. Right now, though, it looks like we're barely getting by with the woods. We're tapping into the wood resources. I might want to expand the farm. But as of right now, we're doing okay. Oh, we need more food. Wait. Oh, it's because, uh, yeah, we had that dry season. That's fine. So we'll get the food picked up soon. That's gonna be good. And what else can we go for right now? We could try to do the power wheel crank and do that over here. And try to get some power set up. That way everyone could somewhat be okay. Uh, so we do do that. That's probably smart. I might want to grow more trees, actually. Or we might just have to wait for this to grow. Food is something we're lacking right now. And maybe even water storage. Alright, so let's get some water storage real fast. Just want to make sure we have enough water. 
Uh, social building stuff is not going to happen. Two pumps should be good. Have space for another one if need be. Science is not that important right now, though. We're, we're stacking it up, but I don't have anything that I'm specifically trying to wait for. We're trying to get 100 wood. Oh, I can't even store that much. Okay, that's probably fine then for me to start getting power here. Alright, so we're going to want a centralized power wheel setup. This seems pretty good. And then... We'll do that for now. And then our wood's going to have to come off of that, right? So it's going to be a lumber mill. That makes sense. All right. Actually, uh, does this work? No, it always has to be centered. How long will it take to divert the bad water? Uh, diverting bad water will not happen. Probably for five more cycles. So it's not going to happen today's stream. One cycle is about 15 days, depending on how long the drought season is. I usually get droughts around day 12, or the warning around day 12. Right now it's day 10, cycle 2. So every cycle ends in a drought or bad water season before it starts over again. And then each cycle is going to be, I guess, different. Uh, slightly different. All right, got to go. It's 2 a.m. here. See you next time. Manti Ux, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a great weekend ahead of you. But, of course, appreciate you being here, man. Rest well, rest easy. And hope you have an awesome Saturdays. We'll see you next time. How do you do it? So, normally, you need to get something called explosives. Right? So, we're not going to get it for a long time. We're going to need 600 science to get the tier 1 dynamite. We're going to need 400 science to make the dynamite on a factory. And then we're going to need a bad water pump. Oh, this is deep bad water. We just use this for the uh, bad water. Deep mechanical fluid pump. That's actually kind of nice. So we don't need science for that. And then we will get the bad water to make explosives. So I would need just bad water. Yeah, so I need a thousand science. And then I would need floodgates, probably tier two. And then I also need the platforms to be able to navigate. And it's gonna take a long time. So effectively with the dynamite, you're gonna blow up the path this way so that the natural area uh, allows the water to sign. And then we would wall this off with walls. We have something called levees, solid, uh, solid blocks. So it's basically, we just put dirt there, and then the water should reroute to the other side. And then once we do that, you kind of have to find the terrain path for where the water would flow out naturally, and kind of use that to your advantage. So you would just do all that and try to set it up. No good selecting. Let's get some water here. All right, so we have this, I'm trying to get this set up for uh, processing. We're going to be trying to level up our wood processing. What's the red square thing? That's a mine. This, this is a mine. Or you're talking about this, that's a mine. So both of those things are the same thing. Uh, that gives you an advanced resource known as scrap metal. That's going to be later on. You're not going to use scrap metal for anything early game. It's going to be for more of the advanced stuff. One of them is temporary. The other one that's larger and not a tower is a indefinite source of scrap metal. This is only going to provide like X amount. Once you scrap it, it's just going to disappear forever. The square is more like long-term mining. All right, we have one beaver and then we have 18. We might need another house soon. We're actually okay, though. Uh, I guess you could argue getting a house early wouldn't be bad, but I want to save the wood for this. 
food issues. We'll grow the berries and all that right now. We'll be fine. All right, all right. Everyone's asleep. We gotta wait. Science is healthy. We have one. Did someone die? Oh, someone died. Feels bad. What do they do in the middle building? This is the building building. So this is where builders live. Effectively. So your builders are assigned here. Haulers have a different building. The hauling posts. And then that's where the people that kind of like supply the items. Remove the water from the pump. Store it at the small tank. Haulers do that. If you're making planks and then you need to process logs for that, the haulers bring the logs here, remove the planks. That way you can keep the jobs going. But that's effectively what that does. This is also a district building. Technically, that's going to separate districts, which is a little bit more like we're not going to get into that because I'm not going to utilize it. But it's how you set up multiple bases, far apart from each other. Oh yeah, we will need to get the housing soon. We're at 19. We almost have enough wood. Okay, that's to have it. Nice. No available workers. Nice. Uh, let's bop you. We're gonna need more. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, we do have 500 science. We'll put two. Oh, we have three people here. Uh, can we limit this to two? We're not going to get as much power. And we're going to pause this for now because we don't need it. Nice. We're going to be able to start making intermediate goods with the planks. So this is going to be our process good number one used for building buildings. And they're going to wait till tomorrow to finish it. Ah, uh, snap. Okay. Let's get another house. Yep. Drought on 14. Three days. We're going to get it on 17. And then the drought's going to be a couple days. We're going to have water this time, though, to try to survive. All right. Industrial lumber mill. This is not bad. Due to population, we're just going to want one person. There we go. We have power now. Make the mills. Nice. All right. So now we're going to have planks. Uh, we need the house. They're going to get the wood for that. I don't really have storage yet. Uh... Oh, there's no medium-sized piles for these guys. Man, they do not mess around. Yeah, they really don't mess around. It's lar Oh, the large is cheap. Oh, they don't have underground piles. Oh. No underground setups. That's tough times. Alright, we're going to put it at the bottom. I think that's going to be fair. You could stack them. Yeah, you could stack them. Oh, you can't stack the other ones. Ah, I see. And then we put a warehouse down here. It's going to look nice because it's flush against the wall. All right, this is going to be wood. And then we're going to change this from wood to something else. There's nothing I actually want. I'll probably just change this to planks. Need the small right there. I guess we put a small warehouse. Oh, this also means that I could probably do this. Ooh. Oh, that's so tough.
Because then we have this weird pocket. I'll leave it like that for now. We won't build the next one yet. We don't have wood for that. Alright, logs. This is going to change the planks. That's already on planks. This is on berries. That's on planks. Two planks, one berries. This will be on the radish. Oh, we have 200 for that. Or put this on berries as well. Medium warehouse. This is... I guess put berries on that. This is not berries. Alright, two people not working. Uh, these trees are ready to be chopped. Let's go. You can make a more direct path through your crops. I probably should. I think we're going to renovate a lot of this, though. That's what I think. We're going to renovate a lot of this. So I think it's fine. We could leave it like this for now. We'll eventually have to uh, grow this out a little bit better. Hmm. How would I maximize this, though? What are those grassy rocks? That's uh, demolishable buildings. So if you could reach that, you could send a beaver there to just demolish it. So if you want that reroute path, you could take it. At the same time, if you don't demolish it, they don't break. They're just a solid tile. So that's something you have a choice of to demolish or not. Of course, it depends on if you want the water to reroute that way or not, though. It's up to you. Man, I am not sure how we want to do this. So we're just going to process the materials. As much as we can. Alright, no goods. Lacking workers. Okay. This is at one. Who can we bop then? Alright, we're going to pause one of these guys. Alright, so what's the next thing we go for? Gears. Alright. This is not bad. We'll go some gears. This is the next item we kind of have to produce. It makes sense. It makes sense. And then... I might want to do food production next. Yeah, because we have like no food. Maybe we just want to grow food down here. The drought's coming, though. 0.2 days. I can't do anything else. We're pretty much good. I would just have to turn off. I guess I should try to do... Uh... Oh, I want more pop, because I want more hauling, actually. Hmm. So, what we want is food. I guess we could go for the fermenter next. And then try to grow some option food. So what grows pretty fast? 8 days, 9 days, 10 days, 12 days? Soybeans. Fermented soybeans? Fermented cassavas. Oh, I could grow cassava. 5 days for 1, 8 days for 2. I think the soybeans are better bang for your buck. Uh, let's look at the cooking recipe, I guess. Four, four cassava for ten. Six, and then what's the second item? Water plus, wait, what? Wait, what is that water? I don't know what item that is. Oh, is that canola oil? I need canola oil in order to make soybeans. Oh, dude. It's water with a plant behind it. I'm assuming that's canola oil. 
Yeah, oil press. Okay, so in order for me to do soybeans, I actually need the second item. Okay. All right, let's pause this. We have water stockpiled. We're fine. Yeah, we're going to need the canola oil stuff. Uh, I'm surprised this isn't draining off all the way. This feels kind of weird. All right, we're making gears. Let's do the small pile for that. Or maybe we convert planks into gears. Oh, gears go to warehouse? That's impressive. Gears go to the warehouse. Okay. So we will need to grow cassava. And that is farmhouse. Okay. So we'll use a little bit. I have to grow it here. There's nowhere else I could actually grow it, I don't think. All right, we'll have to wait. Because I didn't know the actual spread. Because it felt like we got it out to here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's a here? Is that gonna be bad water? No, this is mixed. So we get the fertile land still. So you could have diluted fertile uh red water and di and uh and it could skew in either way. You could have more bad water, so it's technically, you know, not good. But because it mixes kinda evenly, we still are able to grow here. But I need the food, so it's like, I gotta just chance it. Alright, let's wait. We're out of food, y'all. And these guys need to be harvesting. Alright, we have them, we have them. We have food, we have food. Uh, they're harvesting, so it's all good. Aw, snap, Cappy Woods, you're gonna get the game. I see you over there, man. Sadly, I don't have a referral code or anything like that. No, I don't. <laughs> I wish I did. I'm, I'm not like, uh, you know, I'm just a streamer, dude, that's playing Timberborn. <clears throat> Saws, I know. You, you should uh, write a review. Too legit made me get this game. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I actually don't know what would happen, man, if you, you put that in. Yeah, to too legit made me get this, man. It was, uh, you know, might want to kick him back something. Shout out to too legit. <laughs> yeah, man, it'd be like that sometimes. All right, we don't know how long this is gonna last, but it's circling. Oh, you see this? Is this why I wasn't getting power here? The water is hitting the dam and it's pushing back up. You see this? It's kind of like circling right here. That means that I would be getting water power in reverse, fighting the power that's coming down forward. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, it's making a little whirlpool. That's why I wasn't getting power on the water wheel earlier. There's a good chance that was the reasoning. All right, got a little bit of blueberries. We're not growing the kids anymore. But we have so much food right here. I might just not have enough farm housing, to be honest. Oh, we have injuries. Oh, we have to pay for the medical bed. All right, boys. Got the first injury. Feels bad. We gotta get some of these set up. All 
All right, wood's gonna be fine. We'll make the rooms processing lumber. We'll get more food over here soon once we figure out how the spacing is gonna work out. I'm gonna start growing some cassava. I guess that means we should start making the food uh, fermenter. Oh, this requires power, right? All right, so we could go like this. Wow, that was actually better this way. I guess we could also go like that, but there's no power like that. All right, we'll go like this. Yeah, yeah, we'll go like that. This means I get power from this building, though. All right, we're not getting enough power to match demand. Let's get a third guy on this. Yep, no power. One thing I've always done with farms is to have two farmhouses. One to prioritize planting, other the harvesting. Everything gets done so much faster. Oh, that's interesting. There is probably like a sweet spot coverage area. Like the amount of squares relative to the farmhouse. Yeah, the water being like that, man. It's coming back though. It's coming back and we still have some in here. We still got some water in the pool and it's coming back. Don't worry, don't worry. The water's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. Bad water's coming back too, though. All right, the bad water comes in. We don't get fertile land. But when the regular water comes in, we get the fertile land. All right. So let's see how this is going to work. Ooh, okay. So it's actually just like this. Wow. So this means we have a lot of farm space here. All right, we're gonna go with the... Uh... We're gonna go with the AA Ron Strat, double farmhouse. All right, this is gonna prioritize planting that's going to prioritize harvesting and we're going to be doing cassava here all right uh we'll do that much we'll leave this kind of open should be fine if we need more we'll always just grow more and that's going to be storage space most likely i should put a dam here so that we could hold some water during the drought in this area. Realistically, that makes a lot of sense. Let's put it close to the edge. And then we get free trees. So this is mixed water, right? So since we don't build the staircase here, none of the beavers could go down into the mixed water. And you could build from above it slightly. It's always nice. These guys might need a second house, huh? Uh, you know what, man? I'm low-key down. Oh, it takes 12 days to grow the berry bush and then 12 days per harvest. Oh, that takes so long. That actually takes so long. Uh, no recipe selected. Okay, we are going to be doing fermented cassava. We don't have it grown yet, so we're going to pause this guy. All right, we're going to bop this area. Oof. Bop the bushes. Come on. We're going to put another farmhouse here. And then put more of the uh, turnips. The kohlrabi. Oh, you see that? You see that right there? I wonder if that's because of the dams that we're making. It shouldn't be because of the dams. Oh. 
All right, we're gonna bop one woodcutter from both sides. So that's one bop, one bop. That guy's not running. That's only one out of one. We have three spots. Uh, I still want to do that. Yeah, I should sort itself all once it's built. That's what I think. That's what I think. I do want to have at least one guy on science. We need the water. Uh, let's do one of each. And then we just need one more beaver. I guess we could pause the gears. Yeah, we're out of food right now. We have the food right here. Let's have them harvest priority. And then hopefully we should be fine. Little bit of imbalance in the beginning. It's gonna be all right. We're gonna be harvesting soon. We're getting food, we're getting food. Negative wall being is never a good thing. Dude, these take forever to demolish. Uh, 22. We probably don't mind getting another builder here. Three. You can see the bottom's a little bit faster. Breeding is halted. Aw, snap. We didn't feed it any berries. Not like this. Alright, finally making a dent here. All right, does this sort itself back? It still feels faster at the bottom for some reason. And it's not coming back. Oh, it is slightly, slowly, slightly. It could be better. This area is not nice. Yep, that pack is dry. Oh man. I wonder why this happens. And it feels like it's because of the dams. Alright, this side's nice now. Farmhouse. And then this is Kohlrabi. The water in this map seems to be a pain to deal with. That's what it feels like, man. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Uh, we could we could cancel those. Watered and healthy. Okay. Get the kohlrabi here. So we have planting and harvesting. Nice. All right, 23. That's four. This is one, one. Everyone's working. And I guess I don't have a warehouse for that food item. Uh, yeah, we can make one then. So this is a food item. I was thinking we could put it here. Hmm. I also want to put it up top because it fits the best that way. Alright, we'll put it here just because it fits. 
And then technically, you could argue that we get another storage on this side. Three by three, two of them. This is cassava. Oh, these are not raw. Wait, where are my raw ingredients? Right here. Alright. They actually hold a decent amount inside. Alright, 23. Dude, these iron teeth, it feels a lot tougher to actually try to get to that, like, stability point. We're also going to need a lot more uh, wood gatherers, too. Man, we need a lot more people. Even with the additional berries, man, this takes forever. And then we need one more. Still chopping these trees, still chopping those trees. The wood is fine. Uh, planks. Hello? Oh, it's only 40. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no berries means no babies. Dude, this is, this is so weird. The demand for berries, man. The demand for berries. Alright, we got one guy. I do want to start growing. We need the foods. We can pause on the gears. Yeah. This is just dry, man. It feels bad. The food's growing, though. Good news. They'll be able to start uh, processing that. Nice. Dude, still just the berries, though. Man, dude, I don't know which way I need to expand. It can't be bottom right, because we have, like, no space. But it feels like this is also the most beneficial area, too. It's It feels weird. Am I supposed to go uphill? I can't actually tell which way is better. Oh, man. So, we know we need attack, we know we need to survive, and we know we're likely going to move. And what we're going to need is rerouting and then a way to hold water. Okay. How do we want to hold the water long term? Could we just scapegoat this? And then go inland. That might actually work. We could just do the reroute here. Have walls here and walls here. In the world where we get the bad water season, we let it fall down here, and it combines. We could have the water reroute this way, and we wouldn't have any other water to really worry about. Oh, man. I think I might want to do something weird, too. I think we might want to make like an artificial lake. Oh, this is weird. Because I don't like having like like the elevations like this. I would rather have wide space on each layer. So I think we're going to demolish a lot. And when I mean a lot, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> we're just going to demolish a lot of dirt. 
That's what I feel like. So what that likely means then is we're going to need a bad water pump. That's going to be up top. Right? So there's got to be like a water pump system here. Uh, so we'll probably have it here for it to make sense. And then we would need explosives. So this is a bad water pump. I prefer to play on a flat areas as well. It just helps my OCD. Yeah. For me, it's it's because I don't know where the water is actually going to line up to. When the water spills, it's like it's going to fill up, but then it's like it's going to drain this way. Like, does that mean it actually accumulates over here? And does that spill out or does it just flatten out? And then does this ever rise up and flood out? I have so many questions. It's so many layers, man. You can't really, like, accurately estimate. I feel you with that, though, Avian. I like the flatlands better. I get to maximize the water. <laughs> that, that's mainly what it is for me. Maximize the water. Alright, so the cassava's gonna be fine. We need more little kitties. 14 berries, 17. But yeah, we need to expand in general. It fills up until it has an overflow, and it will keep rising until it runs off the edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you with that. Man, I just don't know which which route makes sense. I have a really jank idea of lining up this and using this as a lake. The, the thing is, is that I can't use the other side. So it's like, I don't want to do that. I want to maximize around the lake. So it's like, I can't do that strat. All right, either way, uh, we know we're going to need explosives. I think it's going to be the main thing that we're going to want. So science tech, we're going to need more babies. Uh, yeah, I think we just need to increase breeding pods. And then what we need to do right now is, is increase food. Yeah, we need food and then we need breeding pods. I guess this space is going to be an important space for us. Because this is going to be a lot of our living space, I think. Dude, we're going to need a lot of explosives, man. 100%. Building lax workers. Oh, dude, someone died of old age. You hate to see it. You hate to see that kind of thing happen, boys. Oh, look at that. It's stacking up. We're actually getting resource. Alright, so we're going to pause the second woodcutter on the side. Because the oak... We still have oaks. We're going to wait for the other oaks to grow. And there's a lot of pines over there still, too. So wood is fine. We just need more people in general. That's really all we need right now. We just need to increase the pop. And that's what we can't balance out. These vats, man, they're just so slow. Alright, so we do have the double dam set up. So that we could try to keep these crops growing throughout the drought. Uh, water storage is a problem. I need more people so I can build a hauling post. That's actually what I really need right now. I'll build it though. We won't be able to really have people utilize it then. Because we don't have enough pop to actually run it. Big problems, big problems. Man... 
Iron Teeth feels a lot slower. But it might be like an early game thing only. I think later on they're probably going to be like really good. I would imagine. Like generating power is more steady. Workers power. That makes sense. We're going to pause that. And then this one. Yeah, that makes sense. We don't have enough uh, beavers. So how much is this? Dude, it's just slow right now. Drought started. Can't really control that. That's automatic. One thing I always struggled with is population management with Iron Teeth. Yeah. That's the one thing that like doesn't feel intuitive yet. And it feels like it's, a, it's also a bottleneck. It's stopping us from actually progressing the way we want to. It feels like it's actually our uh, bottleneck right now. It's not a good thing, of course. Our good news is, is that we're stockpiling food, finally. And then wood's okay, water's okay. Uh, we want to stop the pumps. I probably wouldn't mind more water storage. Like, we have the wood. It's going to be fine. Oh, we have three places that uh, need workers. Oh, that many people died just right now? Oh, that sucks. This is... Oh, this is one of them. That's why. Okay. Two haulers should be good. Oh, those two were the water pumpers. Feels bad. Uh, we're gonna get another baby. Let's go. I think what we need to balance out is, man, I wonder how important that is and well being. Because well being affects how long you live, right? Life expectancy, it does. So the longer you live, the fewer the breeding vats you actually need. So I think for the iron teeth, you want high well-being as soon as you can. Because the population management turnover from too old and then the new babies, that's what you need to balance out. The problem is, is that we don't know the values. So we're kind of just shooting in the dark, hoping that we hit the target. Is there graphs in this game? I would want to check that out, man. Like, deaths, if it's up or down, and then born beavers. I want to compare those two. Do we have statistics? Alright, we got a baby born. Nice. That's probably, yeah, this guy. Oh. Oh, with the haulers now, we could pri uh, potentially prioritize it. Nice. Yeah. I hate how I have to click this six times, though. There's bound to be something on the Timberborn Reddit. Yeah, it just takes time. Someone has to figure it out. But once they do, man, it's going to be uh, good information. It's going to be good information. All right, two days of the drought. We should be able to survive. The water looks okay still. We're doing a lot better this time around. We still need more people though, 100%. We still need more people. So we did add three more breeding pods just right now. Hopefully we'll start having positive growth. Our growth at the moment is really, really slow. We started with 12 beavers or 16. And yeah, we're barely at 25. Then again, it also might be tied to my lack of having blueberries. 
And now that they've grown in the 12 days, it's seemingly okay. Building lacks power, it's fine. Dude, look at all the food. Good stuff, good stuff. Two people, nice. And we're out of water, okay. Uh, we will allow them to start pumping. While we could have uh, no water here, I think it's fine. Because it's only, it's gonna, it's gonna run out. The drought's gonna end today. And that way we're gonna be able to have uh, easy time growing the uh, the plants again. We just need to satisfy the thirst, pump out the water. We'll have this refill soon. And we shouldn't have to worry too much about this. Should be all right. And then you can see this water is a little bit murkier, a little darker. I mean, water is water, but you can see that this is not safe to drink. I think the beavers peed in this one. Can't trust it, boys. Can't trust it. And the drought's on. Come on. Wrap it up, boys. Oh, 29? Oh, we're actually going to need another house soon. Oh. Uh, housing. All right. We are having temporary housing. We're just going to put it kind of random. And for the most part, we are good to go now. Yeah, they're going to have water. Everything's going to be okay. And then we have one extra guy. We're going to increase the haulers because that's what we need right now. They can't get the water because they have to move the water from the pump to the tank. And then the other people could start drinking it. Yes, it'd be that jank sometimes. Berries are stocked. Look at that. The uh, turnips are good too. Oh! <gasps> We got a flood, boys. All right, the flood's gone. Did anyone get hit by the bad water? <laughs> Yo, if that flooded with the bad water, dude, I hope no one got poisoned, man. That would have sucked. Randomly flood the bad water to the crops. Yeah, that would not be good. Oh, we don't have water. Oh, classic. Some of the breeding vats don't have enough water. Wow. Okay, that's a day of uh, no reproduction. Not good. We should have less people being thirsty now, though. Alright, water pump. There isn't a larger water pump? Oh, no, bro. Is that real? There's, yeah, oh, wow. Wow. That's tough. Yep, that's tough. Well, it is what it is. We have to use regular water pumps the entire playthrough. Just realize that. Uh, so we need to set this up somehow, huh? Mmm, damn. Yeah, I think in, in most cases it's going to bot my uh, farming. All right, we might have to do some meme strats then. So water storage, gears, ooh. But this would be ideal. Uh, yeah, I'll go for that. That means we will want to move this here. That's such a long move, though. That's the problem. I guess we could try to do platform tech. We will need this. Does this have to be on solid ground? No. Okay, we could platform this. All right. There we go. And then that means I got to turn this on. And that means I need... 
Well, I do want one of these here. We could start moving the small ones as a result. Alright, that's free water. And then... I think we would do this. We would have to put another water pump here. Right, that would be the plan. Yeah, build the build the platforms in the water and like that. Yeah, gonna have to do it. Gonna have to do it. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. You just hate to see it. Alright, the oak trees are healthy again, so we need to start chopping these. Oh man. We need two people. Let's bop one of the haulers. I probably need a bop. Dang, dude. We need the planks for the gears. Alright, we have enough food. We're gonna have to start bopping the farmhouse and cut the labor in half. So that we have labor for other things. So there's one wood, one wood chop. That's fine. This is all working. We have two people now. Uh, They're never actually gonna chop up all the wood, but then we don't need it, so it should be okay. So it looks like we had someone born just in time. Alright, so... Two not doing anything. Oh, are we getting the water in time? Alright, they're growing again, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. We need the gears. Uh, this is built, so we could build this now. This is just logs. Good, good. And then someone could work there as soon as they're ready. This is going to preemptively sack the uh, water. Select that to water. Okay. I probably want to bop this once we get that built. But we need another water storage just to get it, uh, you know, running. Okay, we have one idle. Let's put him to hollow. And then we get the gears right here. 16, we're almost there. 17. Can't get all required. You'll get it soon. You'll get it soon. Okay. So we need more science. I need to get a thousand on top of this. I don't need builder's hut yet. We don't need advanced food. This is good enough. We wouldn't need Tapper Shack yet or Tree to Planks. Yeah, so right now, the next thing we're trying to go for is going to be uh, explosives. Alright, making the factory is actually what we will probably want for now. And then... Oh, this requires metal. Oh, dude. Oh, I needed the metal line. Where is my metal at? That's wood. We need a zoom out function for this. <laughs> we need a zoom out function, man. It's oh, I have to climb all the way up. Oh, dude. It's either we go up this way or that way. So, bam. Bam. And then some. Bam. bam. This is closer. Oh, wow. Okay. That means I am going to be building platforms here. Because we need to reach that. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, this is mad jank. <laughs> We're just going to staircase up the mountain, seem legit. Dude. <laughs> Dude, what is this? Yeah, man, why do we have to work for that, man? Jeez. They don't think it'd be... Oh, we got five babies born. Let's go. Uh, so what is maxed out? Food is pretty much maxed out. 
So that means we're doing science, baby. We're gonna turn both of these babies on. We're gonna get the five haulers. All right, we have one open guy. Okay, we'll let the open guy do his thing. He could idle. We're gonna make him pump bad water, probably. Wait. Wait. This doesn't pump bad water? Oh, dude, this doesn't pump bad water. You can't choose this. Oh, so you actually need the tech for that. All right, so this is wrong. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't have the tech. Okay, we gotta wait. We might want more science. The number cruncher. This is literally 10 times the amount of science, but it requires power. And that amount of power is like 10 beavers. So I'm probably just gonna stick with the inventor. Oh, somebody died due to old age. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one guy that we had idle is no longer idle. He's working out. Oh, they're working on this. Wow. They're working hard. Look at these busy beavers. Doing the good jobs. Oh, we had a little bit of bad water spill into here. Minor floods. It's fine. It was the same as Folk Tales 2, I think. Yeah, the explosive uh, with the metals. Yeah, it probably was. I believe it. I believe it. I'm not going to lie, though. I think I do need to do the uphill dig both ways. How is this still yellow? All right, there we go. Now it's getting red. Wow. All right, mm, this is gonna be to get to the top of the map, water source, so we, we can start playing around with this. Chop the trees up top too, y'all know how it is. All right, speed this up. So we could actually use the wood now, which is gonna be what we're gonna be doing. So we still need more population. We'll get to that point soon. It's it's rolling now. It actually feels like it's starting to roll a little bit better. In the beginning, it kind of felt like kind of like you're barely getting anything done because you have not really that many people. And then it's, you know, you're trying to balance out. So the rate of which you could play the game, it's very decision happy in the beginning because you're going to have to do things just to do it in order to even get certain resources, right? Kind of like how you have to make uh, the water wheel in order to get planks because you need some sorts of power. And then you're like limited by that. But now that we have like more vats for the breeding and the population starting to grow, it feels a lot better. It feels 100% a lot better. All right, so that's 35. We have 40 housing. Um, we get a house back here. Different parts of the neighborhood. I really do think we're going to eventually move the entire population inland. And I think we're going to do a lot of explosives up here. Make it so that this... Uh... Man, we'll see if we actually explode this. Because I'm not sure how I want to do that. We might just make like a steep mountain so that we could have a flat layer. And we'll have to climb up to get to the top kind of a thing. We'll see, we'll see. And I'll also want to get to here soon. Uh, that might be... Yeah, it would be better off this route. Oh, that's such a weird route that would work. I could chop the trees, actually. Ooh. Can you prioritize tree chopping? Can't, oh, they need that in this game. Can you prioritize tree chopping? Oh, you can? How? 
How do you do that? Do we just do this? That doesn't do anything. How do you, how do you do that? Oh, we yeah, but you get no resource though, right? You get no resource from doing that. No resource. Oh man. All right, man. We're gonna have to do it then. So I want to use this path along the water to go up the mountain to get to here because that would be the best path in terms of travel right because you would go here i guess we could just go around with a staircase and that way it's not that big of a deal this is clean water right And then we would literally just have to mark this one. Bri you can't bridge. Bridges are really weird in this game. Uh, you need to build it with an anchor. So you can't have like an L-shaped bridge. If I were to bridge here, it would have to go directly across. But... We don't have a bridge that's actually that long. <laughs> Bridges are actually better for vertical traveling when you're actually too deep in order to build platforms. So like if this was equal height, you'd be able to bridge from here to here over this gap. And that's the only time a bridge is good. Otherwise, it's always better to do a platform. Platforms are effectively this, right? You let the water through and then you just walk on top. Platforms don't require you to build directly on top of the solid space. So bridges are better when they're floating. Otherwise, you really don't want bridges. Because they're kind of jank. The main problem I have with bridges is that you have to spend science on each length value. So the widest bridge is a 6 by one But that's 3k science. <laughs> it's like, man... That's expensive, dude. What the heck? That's my biggest thing with bridges. They're not worth the investment. I feel like, though, they can be okay. It's just that, yeah. We just got another five? Dude, my population is rolling. Oh, dude, my population is rolling. Uh, let's up the farmhands. And then we'll get the last guy in the builder side. Dude, my population is rolling right now. Bridges are late game tidy up. That makes sense. They can be very convenient. And resource saving in the right situation. So I could see that. Alright, so I need a little bit more blueberry storage. I don't really trust it. But you know what, man? We got to do it. Uh, another blueberry storage. Oh, this is optimal housing space, actually. I just realized that. Oh, no, it's not. Housing is at the bottom entrance, not a top entrance. Solid sleep and shelter, 16. Row housing, five inhabitants. Dude, why is this? Why is the population so much more for the Iron Teeth? Like, you need no housing. You need, like, no housing at all. Man, I just need food storage, though. That's what we have a lot of right now. Uh, Maybe we don't need food storage. Maybe we're fine. Nah, it's probably better to have food always. The water is doing pretty good right now. All right, so let's get medium warehouse. I wish this was slightly off. Feels bad. Can't fit two inside. Uh... Oh, oh, bop this. There we go. And then I get some space in the back, which is actually what I wanted. 
All right, so with that, I can actually get storage here now a little bit better. Oh, what the heck was that? That was lag. That was jank. All right, so we're at, dude, almost 40 already. All right, we have space for 50. Yeah, we have space for 50 beavers. We should be all right. All right, we're going to let the busy beavers work. Almost done. We need the planks for all these stairs. Uh, I actually know we're going to need more planks. So let's... Oh, we will just increase pop here, actually. That's what we will need. Uh, this also means I probably have to rebuild that vat. Put that back. Yeah, we sat someone died just right now. It feels bad. This is going to be for the blueberries. And did someone grow up? He's not taking the job, though. Oh, someone got hurt. Oh, my God. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. All right. Once he's okay, he'll get back to work. Everything's going to be good. Yeah, the wood is great right now. Waiting for the staircases on that side. And then it's gonna be another drought. Oh, oh, that's actually not correct. It's gonna be platform double stairs. There we go. That looks mad jank, but it works. Dude, climbing up the side of the mountains, man. What a play style. All right. So far, so good. Science is coming in. We're waiting. Yep. The guy's not injured anymore. No, he is still. We had someone else grow up then. Nice. 40. We have space for 10. We're probably going to get what? Oh, we just got some babies. Yeah, we just had four babies grow. Not bad. Okay, that means the next one will get six babies. Uh, that would actually cap us up at 50, which would be okay. We need some more babies to grow up. And I guess for the sake, we're doing good. I'm going to bop this to increase that. Getting another worker on the planks, because we need planks. That's kind of what we need a lot of right now. Uh, what do we need gears for? There's nothing at the moment that I need gears for, right? I got the large storage. And we're at 27 gears. Yeah. It's all good so far. We will need the gears for the explosives factory, but then we need the metal spot first. Scavenger flag. That's going to be here. And then... I guess we could pause the gears. That way we stop eating the planks. And then we just make the planks right here. For all the staircases. So that's... Oh, oh! Everyone's growing up! Yeah, let's go, dude. Let's go. Uh, let's get another wood hauler, or wood chopper. Turn this guy on. Uh, we will probably want large log storage. I'll put that there. Ends up looking like we need it. And then we would want the haulers up. Now we have two people that need jobs. No gears. I guess we could turn this on. And then no power. Uh, we could up the power then for next time. Alright, because... Man, I want, I want two wood choppers here just because it's like... Man, we need to chop these trees. Drought's coming in in a day. 
the double dam is all right so far all right so we're almost up here need a couple more and then the scrapper is ready nice uh we actually need a scrap pile so we have that this is going to be for logs we'll make a second scrap pile this could probably be right here so it's you know closer travel and then we move this to whatever we're going to do it's going to be better for this guy all right we're gonna wait logs scrap and then we're gonna need something called the smelter all right we're gonna need this wow while that fits i probably don't want that i probably want this here And then we're going to need that. We could have this as well. Double staircase, kind of jank. And then we have space for a building here. Small building. Don't know what we'll put. And the drought has started. Yep, yep. Right now, we're at 43, seven spots. In a couple of days, we'll get another set of babies. It's 12 out of 20. We have the logs, we have the haulers. Should be good, yeah. They're chopping wood now, because we need it. And then we're processing the planks too. Plank storage, 40, it's not bad. All right, little beavers, the drought's coming. Oh, they have blueberry in the water. Feels bad. This is almost done. This is going to be a lumber flag. This is going to be interesting because we're just going to uh, most likely just chop everything down. This is just wood. There's no secondary resource. Birch is actually really bad. Yeah, we're not going to regrow any of this. Very good chance, and we're just going to wipe that out. <laughs> One open spot. What's the difference? This is an adult, right? Berries and extra extract. That's what we need. Okay. All right, guys. I need a pee. I have to be right back, you guys. Don't worry. It's real fast, real fast. I booped the bomba on his nose. I booped the mamba on his nose. We alive? The drought has gone through? Wait, 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 wait. Are they hungry? What was that? We have food, dude. What do you <laughs> yeah, we start a new game. 
we are playing with the all right so we go to well-being iron teeth this is a race you have to unlock so we unlocked it on the other playthrough so we started a new one so uh, we could play with a new tribe so yeah new map new tribe this is the new area so far uh this is a mountain map so we're climbing up the mountain this is where the water source is so we're just going to clear space around it this is going to be to grab berries and more wood and then on this side we're going up the mountain to grab the scrap metal but yeah new game you pick welcome in i see you over there hope you are doing well and having a nice weekend hopefully it's already the weekend but yeah new game new game handling the beavers y'all know how it is there oh wait oh i forgot to remove the pump no we were pumping all we were pumping up the water in the drought 2.2 days 14 1.9 this is eight six okay nothing's actually going to die immediately that's fine we'll survive this we'll survive this good news is is that some of these crops that are dying is harvestable already so it's not bad not bad at all at least you got plenty of water now. Hey, man. I just I just took a sip of water. How did you know? <laughs> How did you know I took a sip of water, man? That's exactly what I just did. All right. 47. We have four beavers not working. Nice. Let's up the wheel runners. Let's get a new house. Drought ends, cycle five begins. The water is back, y'all. The water is back. Nothing to do in rain. Oh, I didn't set this for being cut. There we go. Now you can just chop the trees. Uh, because we're chopping those trees, we are no longer going to chop some of the other trees. So I'm going to calm down on one of these lumberjack flags. Open up one guy. We'll keep two people here. And then I think we'll get another wood mill. I feel like we're going to need this. Like, there's almost no way we wouldn't. Oh, I also need to do this differently. Uh, let's demo this. Uh, so, wood mill F. Yeah, so it's on that side. That's actually important. So we could use this for a power draw building. This gears. I guess we could turn this on. 46. Okay, we just got 10 from the house. Flooded building. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so we should have scrap metal. Uh, the fermenter is in for cooking. Smelting is into... Oh, we need smelting storage. Ah. And then I need... Uh, what is this? Okay. Ah. Oh, dude. Do I do it like this? And then I just put a power line on the back? That makes the most sense. And then this gives me a reason to move the metal blocks out, because we need it here. And then that means I have a reason to turn on the gear factory. There we go. All right. That way we use up the wood. That's kind of what we need to do right now. I, I'm kind of like, dude, there's no log storage for this. Like, it feels like these guys just never stockpile the wood. You know what I'm saying? Do they just never stockpile wood? Because that's the largest wood storage. That feels weird that we don't have a lot of wood storage. All right, doing the scrap metal. This is passive. If he could do it, he could do it. If he can't, he can't. It's fine. 
Uh, the wood chopping here too. Yeah, we want to clear it out, but it's not really a big deal. Oh, we're here at the berries. Nice. Uh, we don't actually need to do anything here. This is emergency, just in case. Now, we might want to utilize this area. Hmm, I'm actually not sure how I want to deal with that. Because the problem with this is that it's high up. So if you don't have water in the area, you can't really utilize it. So we need to figure out how we want to divert the water and then how that's going to look like for the terrain so that we could actually properly do this. Oh! Uh, terrain block. Do we have any pros in chat? Has anyone ever built this? <clears throat> Can you build buildings that are ground only on top of this? If that makes sense. Because there's some buildings that you can't build on top of platforms. Because it requires to be built on the ground. So this is considered ground. This is considered like the, the dirt tile here. Okay. That's nice. It's a normal grass block. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's going to help me shape up the river right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so we got that... We're going to be waiting to build this, which is fine. Uh, we might need more power soon. Because this is... Oh, this is 314 horsepower. Wow. Uh, we might want another power wheel here. Oh, if I build this here... We would just have to separate the path, basically these two tiles. And we'd be able to have power for both. Oh, dude, that's, that works. We would have to wait for the next batch of children, though. Realistically, we would want to wait for the next batch of children. This sounds weird. Batch of children. That's such a weird thing to say. Yeah, we got to wait for the next batch of children. They're growing in the uh, breeding pods. Yep, seems legit totally normal totally legit doesn't feel weird man alright man three people vacancies uh, technically we don't need the wood I guess we could bop one of these guys oh it's this guy yeah, we just need one here. Let's have no one working here and just pause it. And then we should be balanced. You could call them a generation. A batch feels weird. No, man. But we get we get two batches in one generation. It's going on something thing. Man, it's been a while. How are you? It has been a long time. Hope you've been well, man. But of course, thank you for tuning in. Hope you're having a good Friday, something thin. I see you over there. Two cohorts, then. Right, I'm just going to call them groups, man. Oh, we got a group of children growing up. Look at that. We have more adults. Building lacks power. Construction lacks material. Okay. Uh, all right. I think that's fair for us to get the power generation here. All right. So that's going to be power wheel. And then we... Att oh. Oh, that's fine. Uh, we have to bop this. And then the power has to be cornered. Yeah, because the power is directly uh, coming in from the center only. All right. That works. And then we'll want people running on that. This is already maxed out. And this requires just logs. 100 logs. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Getting the metals. We're hauling. Yeah, we're going to need the people for this. So hopefully we'll have uh, open slots soon. Two people died. 
feels bad but four babies were born I want to argue that's net positive that is net positive lacking construction materials we're smelting we're making the metal blocks it just take some time we have everything to work non-stop it's just uh oh we don't have max power that's why all right so that's gonna be important getting the second power wheel oh five babies grown up oh snap we have the labor force boys it feels bad but technically they are labor all right that's four people running this and one people working at the explosives factory I still need to grab bad water pump and then this requires metal and gears okay bad water pump we're gonna need this this makes me want to think I should dam up the water here instead of having this platform plus this setup so that we could just pump the bad water anytime we need it I feel like that might bottleneck though and cause a flood <laughs> I'm hoping it'd be all right though yeah, yeah, yeah can't do that can't do that we would either have to put it in front or behind I think we should though but we would want to get this up first Wood is good. Aw, snap. We did it, boys. All right, we're going to need more. Dude, They, they, we have like a group of babies growing up. Oh, man, yeah. The slacking. Someone just died. All right, we have power now, right? Yes, max power. So it's two hours instead of four. Nope. This is still four hours. Feels bad. And making the metal just takes a long time. Okay. This is going well, though. I can't complain. 11 open slots of beds. And then we'll soon get explosives. And then once we get that, we can start planning out our area. So I'm thinking we might want a base on top of this. But I might crack this down to utilize the water down here. Yeah, there's a good chance we do that. So I think we're going to keep this and then we're going to wall this up at the very end. Oh, we could just wall it up and just not let anything spill. Flatten out this layer, so lower this down to here or even here. And if I get to this, that's a double level of water I'd be able to hold on to. That's really nice. So if I go off of this level, we would be able to live on the side as well. So here, here, this is my river. Lock off both of these sides. So if I go here, we could technically have the water go around. <sighs> Lining this up and making this a giant river. Guys, the ultimate play. Reroute the water. Fill up this island. <laughs> it's a mad, it's a mad idea. Uh, the only thing is, is this the only two water sources? I don't want any bad water. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Dude, we really need bad water purification. We need that in the game. And then they need to make it so that you only get bad water seasons. For like 30 days. So it's like, if you don't have the filtration, you lose. <laughs> that might be a little bit too much, but I kind of like something like that. So it's this height level. So this height level and this height level is all the same. Here and here. So if I want water on top of this, 
so it goes out this way. I would need to wall it off to this height, here to here. And then I would have to do here to here. So that we accumulate water in a small lake. And then we want to push it over to this side. Lining it up to here might be too much. We might be better off doing like a small wall. Like going from here down to here. And then we put a dam to spill over that way. Yeah, we gotta play hard mode, man. I gotta play hard mode. We're gonna get to there one day. Alright, I like this idea. We do here, here, and then we potentially bomb this down to use this as space as well. I think that's what we'll do. This red water area, though, seems just bad. And then there's this spill out that seems like it might be kind of nice. Gotta make paradise. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to plan it out, man. Where the red water is, we kind of want to avoid. We're trying to make a nice area. So if we spill here and it goes out that way, we have our design. We could effectively wall it off here as well. Just so it fills up, but we probably won't use that spill path. We probably want to use this one. If we do use this one, though, this would be very simple. Because you demolish this. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Because this is lower, so this will flood over on that side. Okay, never mind. That doesn't really work that well. And then we have to divert bad water seasons. Yeah, so the gate here and gate here is still probably the play. And then we'll have to move the district over. Yeah, that's likely, I think, the plan. Or how we doing? Making the metal blocks. 23 out of 30. Let's take some time. Oh, we have five guys for labor. Uh, science is good. So we got the metal that we need. We're not going to do efficient mine yet. Uh, we don't need treated planks or tapper shacks. We're not going to do oil press or hydroponics or food factory yet. None of the water pump things we need. We might want centrifuge for the extract. This is interesting because we could use this to grow uh, adults. Right? You would get adults instead of babies. So we would skip a couple of days here. Now, of course, this means that we would need extracts. Uh, we don't. So I probably want to wait for that. I might want another bed soon. Because we might have our next group of babies uh, become adults. Right now, it seems like we're fine. Oh, right, yeah. We'll just up this. Now that we're at four. We're at seven. We'll have two beavers. That's potentially the wood choppers right here. We don't need the wood, though. And that's the biggest reasoning why we have uh, one each on paused. So we should be okay on power. Do they have proper batteries? Oh, it's a gravity battery. Ah, okay. Dude, I just realized we're going to be on top of the mountain, dude. My gravity battery is going to be insane. I'm just going to build, like, dude, blah, 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 20 tile drop. <laughs> That's going to be wild. 20 tile drop. It's time, boys. The tallest gravity battery known to, known to man, to Beaver Kingdom. So the metals are good. And then we can't build this because we're waiting for the metal blocks. This doesn't really matter. Uh, I could try to make bad water storage, which wouldn't be too bad. I wouldn't mind doing this.
I think it might be better just as regular tanks, though. What? Coffee? I lagged. Explode the, the floor to ground zero as well for max power. It sounds like AA Ron has done this already. We are not going to be the first. Oh, the Savo. Wait, I'm already getting this? Wait, dude, no. We're not ready. Dude, we're not ready. What the fuck, man? Dude, I'm not ready. Oh, dude, we're gonna lose everything. Dude. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I could do? I see a strat. I see a strat. I see a strat. We could floodgate this. And, oh, we don't have explosives yet. I would need to crack open a new way for them to spill. I would... Oh, dude. Yeah, we just have to hold the L here, I think. We might just have to hold the L, man. We might have to hold the L. The other strat would be flood walling here on the lower section and forcing a diver. Hopefully only last a day. Yo man, maybe. Uh dude. I think I might just want to scrap all the berries here. I'm scared though, because we're running low on food. I might not want to scrap the berries. I might need it. Oh, dude. How would I want to do this? We know we need to go up here to reroute the water eventually. We should survive. Should being a keyword. Yeah, it looks like I might want to reroute the water this way and utilize the blockage on the side. But yeah, I can't I can't do that effectively. Dang yeah. That would be the ideal path right here. Block this off, flood this out. No, I wouldn't be able to do it in time. That's the problem. I wouldn't be able to do it in time. So I could just not do it and get the same result. Oops, I hit my mic. I can't do it in time is the problem. I don't want to bop the berries, but I might need to. Because I don't know if I have enough food <laughs> we have berries here too. God damn, we have too many berries. Alright, this is probably fine. Uh Alright, we're gonna bop the berries, boys. Famous last words. Good news is, is that we get power in a drought still. Bad news is, is that, well, we don't really have all the tools that we need. Oh, we have the explosives factory. Nice. Don't have the bad water yet. Yeah, we'll pause that. And then we need the metal here. We almost got it. This is going to be four out of five. Watch. 
Give me my four out of five, man. What are you guys doing? All right. Oh, we have it. We have the last one. Come on. Give me my medal. Nice. And now we get bad water. All right. So now this means we get explosives. Someone's already injured. Oh, snap. All right. We're missing a couple beds. So we have well-being. We're going to need better bets. All right, we're going to get some more because we're going to have more dangerous jobs, it looks like. And then that way, they'll be okay. Ah, uh, man. This is going to be... Oh, dude, we got half of this done? That's impressive. Right, we got a path to get closer, of course. I also just want to not grow these trees. So I think we just need to pop them. These are nice oaks, though. This is a lot of wood. This is going to be awesome. Dude, look at these guys. God damn. Dude, they're demolishing everything, dude, with the speed. Uh, Dude, I'm thinking I might demolish the trees, too. Like, goddamn, that's so fast. Because it's like, we're just going to take us forever to burn through the trees we have, so I might as well just get rid of that. Dude, I hope this bad water tide is only for a day. I hope this is only for a day, man. Oh, and I also need to stop the job. Oh, I just realized that. Uh, cancel. Because otherwise my beavers are going to go into the water all day in the bad water season. So we just needed to stop that. They're not going to go in for no reason. So I'm okay to leave the path there. Bad water started. Yeah, it's only for a day. Whew. Damn, that sucked though, man. Alright, boys. We're going to have to tough this out. It's going to be a day of bad water. Did you just get... No, no, he was injured. Okay, that's different. Oh, that's right. We got to off the pump. Got to off the pump. Got to turn it all oh, and immediately it's red. Oh my God, dude. That was immediate. Jesus Christ. The speed of which that was actually uh, turned red, dude. It was like adding dye to the water. That was impressive. All right, we're going to max out the haulers. The builders are maxed out as well. Why is there a chocolate river? I don't remember that when I played. The beavers took a dump, dude. I'd be like that sometimes, mean hat meanderer. They took a dump, dude. They had some uh, spicy red salsa with their burritos. And it was a bad time, dude. Bad time. But yo, real talk, this is just a new mechanic. This is called bad water. Bad water is toxic water, effectively. And yeah, crops don't grow, the ground is infertile, and then the cracks in the ground kills the plants. So a lot of times, bad water is not good for you. Right? Because the, the crops immediately die, which means the trees don't regrow. This is specifically bad for these trees, because it means these trees are not going to grow back, which sucks. Tomato sauce, yeah man. You ever had Chicago-style pizza? What they do is uh, they put the sauce on top of the cheese. Kind of looks like this. Bad Tide ended. Nice. Cycle 6 begins. Alright, clean water. Uh, we're going to turn this on again. Believe it or not, this is actually safe. You just pump slower if there's bad water in thine. But we have a mixed water now, so it's okay. And our crops are growing again. Nice. The forester is back. Regrow everything. It tastes like that too. Hey, I see you over there. Come on, we need the we need the water. We need the fertile water. We need everything to grow back. Alright, looks good so far. Uh 
right. That means I think the water is clean. Let's demolish the rest of these trees. Right. And did we make explosives? No. We need that. Uh, explosives get stored on where? It's going to be a warehouse. Okay. So... Hmm. I will put it here then, just because this is the center of my base. We're going to put three warehouses there. Alright, one of them for explosives, and we start uh, rolling that. I might need metal block space. That's one thing we might need next. I guess we could change one of these. Oh, that's in the outdoor log pile. Okay, never mind. Doesn't belong here. Uh, technically, we could put it here then. That's probably better than down here. Alright, clean water, bopping the trees. Can't be bad. And this does... Oh, there's no space. Like, they could chop the trees, but it's not going to do anything. Right, because they're out of storage space. Alright, so we have two here. Oh, we have a couple of explosives. Alright. So, the next thing I am thinking about <laughs> is going to be the centrifuge. Uh, one of the things about the explosives that we have is that if we add something called extract, we actually are able to start uh, demolishing multiple layers. So a lot of times, that's going to be a very uh, lucrative. So we're not going to do this yet. We're going to go into the centrifuge. Grab this. Alright, this requires power. So that probably means this. I will do it like that to potentially get some buildings here for power. Okay, these are maxed out. Get the centrifuge for extracts. I am going to need a water tank for that. Uh, I guess we could just do more explosives on here. Alright, so extract water. Probably... Hmm. We probably don't need the medium for this. We probably want multiple smalls, though. And then I want this in an area that could be reached pretty easily. I didn't realize this game is post-human. Yeah, so basically, the humans did the, what the humans do, and then all the humans died. And then the beavers woke up one day and was like, hey man, it's kind of nice out. And then when they went walking around, they found out humanity died. They're like, oh shit. I guess it's our time. And then they just started growing. So then the beavers started walking like humans did, stand upright, start to learn about the uh, English, reads the books about how to farm. Very simple. And just like that, they started a society. Just like that. Who would have thought, man? The beavers had it this entire time. Uh, there is actually no good spot for this. Realistically, it would be here. Alright, we'll just do this then. And this is going to be extract water. Nice. No coffee yet, no oils yet. We'll get that soon. This is going to be metal blocks, so we'll continue making this. The metal process is slow, so might as well do that. And I am able to reach this still, so that's good. So once we get extract, we could start thinking about where we want to start putting this. Alright, so we know that this is the water layer minimum that we have to break. 
So this is one, two, three, four. Okay. And then with that, we kind of have an idea of how we're going to reroute the water. Uh, I think we also need to get the floodgate system here. So realistically, I think we're going to have to put solid tiles here. So we're going to need levees. Yeah, we'll be able to do that. And then after we get those, I probably would be okay with the path like that. So that we get into the water and start building. And then we would want single floodgate. And it would be on these two. And then we'll put it on top once we're done. Uh, these floodgates are gonna be at zero. So that once we build them, there's no impacts. Then we will need some explosives for the sun. So explosives are going to be 600 science. We'll wait for that. Hopefully we'll have time. And then while we'll wait for that, we're going to be, uh, you know, building more explosives as we can. All right, all right. I'm hoping that's fine. Rerouting the water this way. I wonder if what they wanted me to do was spill the water here and then flood this area and then wall it off and then use the high ground. Because there is technically more high ground space here. That would be actually kind of nice to have. So you would flood this area up to here before spilling out. So likely what would happen is you would probably like wall this, wall this part. So that all the water has to spill into here before flooding out. And that way you have a bottleneck. This is also raised too, so that's not a big deal when the water comes here. That could be a thing. Because it's the high ground here is actually kind of nice. I think you need explosives at the bottom too. I could open this. This is something we could demolish without explosives. If we just walk up to it, we got that one. I see you there though, Tenet. Welcome in, welcome in. Wait, you guys can't even tell? Hey, y'all see this? The levees look like just dirt tiles. That's so weird. Not even mad. It looks nice. Okay, we still need to demo this. Alright, man, we still gotta demo this. Oh, the food is gone. Aw, oh, snap. I am at 61. Aw, oh, snap. I haven't been paying attention to my housing. Aw, oh, snap. Alright, we need more food. Uh, yeah, we are nowhere close to enough food, actually. This is actually kind of crazy. So, I actually can't progress until I make more food, huh? Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, the workers on the farmhouse are at two out of two each, so that is correct. Dude, we don't have really a lot of farm space, though. Where do they expect me to make food? Up here, I guess? Oh, man. Build more storage for food? No, we need to make more food. It's not storage. So blueberries, while you, you could eat it, you do not want to feed that to the beavers. There's no nutrients in it. So you get no stat points. That's what I mean when I say uh, we need to make more food. Berries is last resort. 
So that means if you're eating this, you got to make more food. The reason why we want berries, though, is that's how we make kids. You need water and berry to make kids. Feels weird. I don't actually know where would be a good food location. So we would want... It's not... I mean, we do have more cassava root. The turnips seem to be okay. All right, so what's the best food we can make right now? Mushrooms? We can't grow that, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude, we just don't have a lot of options, actually. Holy crap, yeah. Uh... What we might need to do is actually just bop my tree farm. Realistically, I think that's what it is. I think we bop the tree farm. Oh, dude. That's so weird. We would, I think, cut this partially to put more of the uh, kohlrabis in. And that would probably be the food of choice at the moment. And then we would have to move the trees somewhere else. So I'm thinking we have to move it to here. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to set that up. All right, so Forester's in. Put that in the corner. Uh, lumberjack flag, sure. We'll put one on this side, one on that side. This is going to be interesting. All right, we'll build that first, and then we'll move these guys. We're not chopping all the trees anyway, which is, I think is part of the problem. I uh, will bop the one that's not being used. And then we will start demolishing this. Uh, we'll go up to this line. And then these are all going to become uh, crops. We probably push this up more, actually, to be honest. And I think we remove the water path and put a platform here and stairs into that. And I think that means we're going to want this to be a road. We will have to relocate the forester a little bit more inside. And then we want to bop this, most likely. All right. Let's wait. Let's wait. We have three new people. Only one bed. We gotta make a new house. The builders are busy demoing everything. Okay. Uh, this is waiting for metal. We don't have storage for that. Everything else seems to be okay. So we do just need more people working. Not making planks, but that's fine. Dude. That's funny, man. We just bopped all the food. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Builder's Hut is maxed out. We are working the most amount of time in the day. Everything feels like we, we, we need more still. <laughs> feels like we need more still. Don't have extract yet, but that's fine. 250. We still need to get it 600 for more dynamite. 6, 9, 12. Oof. I do need the uh, level 3s. Demolish, boys. It's time. Oh, they're still trying to go up there to demolish. Oh, no. They're building these. Oh, if they're building these, they won't be demolishing. I see. So that just got built. Nice. One beaver. Nice, nice. Alright, we'll pause this guy. We'll pause that guy. We'll also pause this guy. Uh, no, I can have this guy here. We are going to do oak trees. Not bad. These do go to the lower levels. That's not bad. And 
then we're gonna do tree cutting. Oh, I went up top, yep. That goes here, that goes here, that goes here, that goes here. Nice. Our oak trees, oak trees. And then we're still bopping these. That guy's planning. The builder should be demolishing. No free workers, so it's all fine. Dude, we have 10 kitties. Uh, we're going to pause a couple of the breeders. We're at a good population right now. Let's just try to stabilize it. So we'll pop these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we're doing is we need to demolish these trees so we can grow food down here. That's what we're needing to do right now. So this guy isn't working. We could bop him. Coal rabbi. We could plant that if they're not planting. I did want this to be a path. And then this was going to get demoed. Oh, so we do go this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this has to get relocated. Let's bop this now. And then we need to mark some buildings here. Let's do these four. And then we'll put the lumberjacks here, here. Potentially two still. I like having two lumberjacks. Alright, it's not bad. This is going to be... Oh, there we go. We need this here. And then the path. Nice. These are all going to be kohlrabi. This line is also going to be kohlrabi as well. We'll have to bop that once we're done. Alright, that's going to be the crops uh, we're going to be increasing. I might also bop this blueberry farm. Because we have a lot of blueberries, right? And put the uh, turnips over here. We just have too many blueberries. And we're pausing the breeding too, so I think that's fair. Alright. I'm also thinking about bopping this water tank. Put that there, so we could bop these. We get some more plants that way, hopefully. Extract is first one, not bad. Centrifuge. Oh, we don't need two people here. We just need one right now. <laughs> just one, just one. All right, we're gonna potentially get some more science right now. Uh, let's build two. So the scrap metal is doing all right. Storage for scrap metal. Cycle uh, cycle six, day 11. Oh, dead trees right here. It's going to get chopped, though. It'll be fine. Uh, Reprioritize planting. Replanting dead trees. We could do that. And this is not connected. You can go up top. All right, this is going to be pine. And then this is going to be oak trees. Oh, we're still demoing these. Uh, up the priority here. All right. So we need the science. Dynamite is at fall. Oh, another one, dude. I thought there was just one, and then we get some droughts. Dude, what are you guys doing? What the heck is this, man? Dude, we, we was not ready for this. We was not ready. Oh, man, we was not ready. 
Uh, so we could just do a skinny path immediately. I don't have the science. Oh, come on. Of all the things I don't have, it's the science. Uh, this is paused. We don't really need the extract water right now. We have a decent amount. All right, so let's actually pause this. Explosives are needed, metals needed, gears is maxed out, but we're fine. We might need that for stuff now. Bad water is being used a lot of. Which is fine. We don't need to chop wood here, just one. These guys can be idle. Wood's maxed out, so we'll pause one. Okay, so... Is there anyone up top? There is. I guess we'll wait till it's nighttime when he leaves. We gotta change some of the things up right here. Effectively, we're gonna bop this. And time to go home, dude. Nice. This is gonna be a platform. There we go. Three beavers not working. Okay, that's fine. We have three babies that are potentially going to be breeded, but we have four. Okay, we're all good for that for now. Cole Robbie. This needs to be bought. Nice. All right. Still a little bit behind. The place that we're cooking at, too, is also a little bit behind. Fermented cassava. It's also food. And we're at 66 pop right now. Okay. We have workers, though. Man, we have workers right now. Uh, Let's see, then. This guy doesn't need to work here. Then we got the build right here. Nice. I guess we could demolish this. Try to get the rubble items. And then... Oh, we almost have enough for dynamite. Come on. Alright, let's build another science. Almost there, y'all. I don't know if we'll get it in time. That's the thing. I don't think we'll get it in time. And no, we have to wait till tomorrow to generate any science. That's tough. Okay. So let's do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. Everything lines up. This is longer, so we would go down here, if anything, or here. We'd probably go here, though. This does make more sense to have this flow in. So we're going to do this line. So this is going to be our dynamite line. We're going to path up so we know we reach. And then we're going to go around now, so we don't have to go into the water. Come on, yo. We have exactly a day. This is not going to be enough time. All right, pause. Dynamite. And... Uh, we do this, and then we do that. We have this priority, and then we have this priority. All right, let's go. No, we're using the cliff. It's going to be fine. I actually can't reach here yet. Maybe I should. I wouldn't have enough time, though. 
So this is going to be a floodgate. I don't think we're going to have enough time to do that. Alright, so the water goes this way. Oh! Hmm, that's tough. Uh... Yeah, that's tough. We could build below and then try to reroute it to here. We could open this, but that doesn't do anything. So it does potentially build this way. Yeah, I could see that now. Dude, we can't get to here, though. That's the problem. That means I needed to go into here. No, that wouldn't have worked. That would have been so much dynamite. Yeah, we're not going to get it in time, though, so it's fine. So we'll just take the L for this bad water cycle, and then we're going to test out the floodgate strat with regular water. Right? Because we don't know if it's going to spread backwards. Two days? Oh, that's rude. Two days of this, man? Alright, uh... Pumping water shouldn't matter. Because we'll have clean water anyways. Right? So, like, pumping the water wouldn't impact us anywhere. Uh, this means that maybe we don't want them going inside to grab the loot. Two days of this. Let's move this up. Alright, so we, we're gonna bop this. I'm gonna see how, how this works. Oh, it's not pushing up. Okay. Alright. Little bit spill. It goes down and spills that way. Oh, but you see it emanating? Little scary. Little scary. Is this actually safe? This is actually safe. Is it? All right, the flood gets bigger. Oh, oh, it's coming over. Are you going to grow anymore? It's spilling down. That's good. Okay, that's not good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that floods. Oh, shit. Not like this. Open the walls. Drain the tank. Okay. This is not wide enough. <laughs> Today we learned that this was indeed not wide enough. So we could have both running, and that's fine. Okay, let's just close that up. So we know that this potentially does have a fault, and we do want to make this a little bit better. Uh, so we need to widen the gap. First off, I'll probably want to bop probably this part. The spills are all right, but once it gets to here, it spreads. So we either want to wall this off, or we want to lower this terrain. It's likely the options we're going to want. All right. Also, oh, I wonder if the first bad water cycle ruined my crop rotation. Because in the drought, we were surviving, right? So if we survived the route, I mean, the drought and there was water in the river, our crops were growing during the drought. But once we got the bad water season, the crops die immediately. And I think that might have been the reasoning why. Because when that happens, we would have to regrow the, the crops from zero. 
And I could see potentially like there was a thing where we were barely balanced, where if we survived the drought, we would have plenty of food. And then because we lost the rotation, our calories got uh, spiked downward. Kind of like this. This is actually really bad. All the crops are dead. Oh, dude. He got hit by the bad water. Oh, no. We have two beavers hit by the bad water. Oh, not like this. Dude, this map sucks. <laughs> this map sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have to set that up, yeah. We have to set that up. But then we're back to food problems. Back to food problems, man. Classic. Classic, classic beaver thing. Alright, so back to food problems. Looks like food is going to be the biggest factor in this game. Uh, all my maple trees here died, too. Uh, my oak trees here died. So we got no trees planted. That's really sad. All my oak trees died. We don't really need wood. We, we need better living space. Yeah, that's all we need. Just better living space. Alright. Let's do a lumberjack flag here. So we finish chopping these trees. Let's pop this. Alright, so all the trees here are marked for cutting. Nothing here should regrow. These are all dead trees. And then if we knock out the adult right there, we should be fine. Alright, so this is the water. Hmm. Can I set up a reroute early enough into here that we could utilize this side for food? That's that's realistically the goal. I kind of see a way to do that. We could just walk around the lower route. So we know we want to get to this height level. Right? So this height is this height. So this height I want to flatten into. So it's going to be like right here. Dude, that's tough. No, I know, I know for the water thing. We gotta widen that. But we need to move the water to potentially get food. This also spills out. So I would need to wall this temporarily. Yeah, that would be the big... I guess we would do it here. For how that would be set up. Is there a double dam set up? No, we would have to use the two-story floodgate. Which is fine. Okay, so... We would need a lot of explosives here. That's going to be the first thing about that. Uh, I should try the water strat. So we will have to do something here. So let's go with a platform. And then from there, we're going to need more dynamite. Uh, I think we have to do this and then that. And then this is four wide. I likely need the same width here. I probably push this back, actually. And then we want to demo this side as well. So that's one, two, three, four. And then we will probably want to do this. It's going to be a little tough. Uh, let's not do that one. Because we need to build the floodgates here first. 
And then I guess a smart thing to do is try to set this part down next. That makes a lot of sense, though. Alright, we do have the explosives. We have 60 of them. That's actually why we keep getting hurt. And the beavers being unwell. Yep, it's a bad time right now. Uh, so, we cannot make the antidote. Wait. Wait, contamination? Wait, so you don't make herbal antidotes? You just have a decontamination pod? Dude, that's, that's gangster, dude. That's actually pretty gangsta. Oh, I don't have the science for this. I have the extract. Dude, I could do this. I could actually do this. All I need is... The science. Oh, wow. Okay, we could actually cure the beavers. Second... What is that? You pick second what? We don't win? Fifty-three. Alright, we're gonna get food soon. We need about another day. And then the cassava is... Oh yeah, we're gonna need like three days here. Food's running low. Food's running low. We may not survive the second water crisis. If we could divert the water, we'll be fine. I think that's the major thing right now. Being able to divert the water. I must have wanted to actually go up this way instead of the other way for metal. Because technically the scraps are right there. And I would have wanted to go past to here. And then we would be up this way naturally. Oh, this is ready. Uh, landscape. We need the floodgate here. We get this one. Floodgate here as well. Alright. Technically, since we're... Did the explosives already, this is ready to be made. Yep. Low on food, boys. We need another day. For the oh, some of them are, are healthy. Nice. We have turnips, boys. Freshly grown turnips. Please survive. This is gonna be a bad time. It's looking pretty good though. Looking all right. Uh, there is potentially more right here we wanted to do. So it was these. I see. I guess we could do this. Because I did want these. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is going to help spill the water downwards. It's going to be the plan here. And then try to reroute the water that way. Because once it drains this way, we'll be fine. Okay. We got to finish this first, man. You're asking us to do too much. When you do everything at the same time, nothing gets done. Alright. Pump the water, y'all. We need the waters. So that's pause, which is fine. We have three beavers not working, which is okay. One of them's done. Nice. All right. We need another flood wall here. So this actually works. 
So we would go down to build that. Uh, we don't need this path anymore. And then the water is going to spill down. I guess we would want this trimmed out right here. And we could do it from up top. That should help us out a little bit. Alright, this one's ready. This one is up. Alright, so that's going to be open spot. Alright, alright. You pick, man. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. We gotta set this up first. If we do everything at the same time, we're gonna have two things halfway done. You gotta stop, man. You gotta let me play. Repeating stuff like that. I, I hear you, man. You're the only one here. <laughs> I hear you, man. You gotta let me. You gotta let me play, though. Food zero. Uh, how come you guys are not harvesting? Oh, it's because you guys are thirsty. You guys are not efficient. Oh, it is. Oh, dude. Chain reaction. So the food's here. We just need to harvest. And they're not harvesting because they're thirsty. And then they're not doing the water because they're hungry. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, man. Uh, let's see. The food is ready. It's right there. The water pumps are not paused. These are priority workplaces. We are at 66. We were at that value before. Trees here are done. We could bop this. So what the heck? I guess we need more water. Uh. All right. Yeah, we'll probably have something like this. Just to get some water. Let's go, let's go. Alright. This is actually ready. Nice. Uh technically don't need this anymore let's bop that and let's do that all right almost done so effectively, I actually probably want this as well. Yeah, that way the water treads downward. I guess that doesn't matter for the right side though. Because technically, as long as it spills, it's fine. And going this way is not that bad. Should be fine, should be fine. All right, we probably want... Oh, they are grabbing that. Nice. And we're waiting to do that. I guess we do this. Okay. We get the logs, get this built. Nice. Can we get some haulers? Any water in chat? 
We have one food item, no food item. Ah man, not having the bad water reroute. And we didn't grow enough food. I might have I might have gotten the population too big too fast. I might have gone the population too big too fast. That is something that could have been a problem. I guess we should have double harvesting right now. All right, we're starting to get food and water. That's a great sign. Come on, man, we need y'all pumping. No, we're starting to have hunger deaths. Oh, snap. Is there anything we could pause right now? Um, I guess we could pause the explosives. Smelter could be paused as well. Uh, let's see. So you pick, you probably don't understand. The reason why we're not getting the food and water is because there's a modifier on them to work slower. So the water can't get it because there's no food. The food is there, we can't harvest it because there's not uh, enough water because the people working the pumps aren't working effectively. The food is actually there waiting to be harvested. And I think the population going down probably helps us. We could bring it back. We just need to probably not have everything rolling right now. Now, we have too many people. Let's start pausing. Oh wait, wrong one. There we go. Now we're down to here. Still low. We could probably remove power a little bit. And then... Food is starting to go up, maybe? If we could solve food, we could solve water. We just need one of them to be solved. Water's there, food's here. Aw, oh, snap. Uh, we could pause on the bad water too. Scrap guy could still do a scrap. Down to 41. Aw, oh, snap. So yeah, sadly, there's no way to get food on demand in this game. There's no way to get food on demand unless it's already there. Damn, this was actually kind of hard. I don't know if we need to restart. I want to say we could salvage this. I want to say we can. Alright, so we just got to pick this up. And then we could turn on those explosives. Five slots again. So let's pause all woodcutters. Technically, we don't need to chop wood right now. All right, pause, pause, pause. We could pause the scrap guy as well. And then still seven people. Let's go down to two haulers. Science is mostly paused. Farmhouse is fine. I guess we could pause the foresters. We'll go down to one guy on planks. And then... 
Technically, we don't need gears for a while. Someone just died. Uh, we'll lower the wheel power. We'll just put it down to zero. This is the real challenge, GG. Yo, man. Having the knowledge, though, is going to help me out a lot. We made some mistakes. We did make some mistakes. I didn't need to go up here. I should have went straight to this way so that we could have started doing the reroute. Then also, I think I planted too many trees. That's also probably something that hurt me a lot. Planting too many trees. I think once we actually balance out the proportions, we'll be more prepared next time. I don't know if there is an easy way to set this up, though. Because it's if you have explosives, it makes it really easy. I wonder if there's like a way to wall this out with levees and force a reroute. Like it levels up to here. And then it just spills that one. Now it's probably going to take way longer. Ah, uh, snap. Died of thirst. Zero out of zero. Aw, oh, man. So we were at 66 pop. We were at 66 pop. I mean, it was a learning experience. I wouldn't mind starting over. This was my first time playing with Iron Teeth, understanding how the breeding pods work, how to control population better. And then we have more knowledge of the map as well. I think the map knowledge is going to be the most important. The map knowledge has helped out. Like knowing which way to go. Well, I mean, you could go any route you want. It's really just what the plan is. And if I want to move over to here, because this looks very, very nice and fertile potentially, we would... Hmm. The bad water season from here ruins everything. That's the problem. If I don't have the ability to hold water, my crops die. Not because, well, lack of water, because if it's a drought, it's okay. The bad water kills the crops outright. That's actually what hurts us the most. Losing the food. So I'm thinking we have to reroute ASAP. We could try to set this up and then instead of going to the scrap pile on the left side, we want to go to the scrap pile up here because we want to farm over here as well. Yeah, so we won't be able to grow anyone because we don't have blueberries. <laughs> so the population can't technically rebound. We don't have enough supplies to actually rebound. Yeah, we learned, we learned. We're going to learn from our mistakes. But guys, I think this is going to be where we wrap things up for the night. This is going to be an L for the, uh, the map, though. So we're going to have to start over. We're probably going to play the same map, though. Learn from our experience. But this was... Oh, it's another bad tide. Uh, I want to see how this works. Alright, we're going to bop that. We're going to full gate, low gate. So we're going to reroute the water. Does it never get this bad? So this is full force. Right? This is full force. You could reduce their sleep, can you? This is just work time. I don't think you could change sleep hours. You could change work schedule, not sleep hours though. So this seems like there's no problem with the back spill. Work time is maxed out. Oh no, oh you can just make them work all day? Oh snap. You could actually do that? Is there a well-being modifier for that? Oh wow. Sleep, yeah. I guess we have to make them not sleep, boys. That's gonna be such a sad colony. The beavers have to uh, just not sleep. This seems like it drains the water pretty easily. 
Yeah. So this seems like it's gonna work. Doesn't look like it's gonna flow back to us on this side. Looks like this little blockage is good enough. It's weird how this doesn't spill over though. I'm kinda happy about that though. Looks like this potentially helped the little uh, explosive here for this wall hook. All right, guys. We have balanced out. No, we haven't. <laughs> guys, it is going to be time for us to wrap things up for the night. So, guys, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. We took a big L on the Iron Teeth first playthrough. But, hey, man, we'll know better for next time. But, guys... It is going to be it for us today. So, we're not going to save this. We took an L. I know, Abe. It'd be like that sometimes, man. It's it's English second language thing. It's hard to communicate with them. 